名前が言えるようになろう I'm Akira. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Arnie. I'm Arnie. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you too. こんにちはいよいよ英語のレッスンのスタートユニットワンではね英語で自分の名前が言えるようになっちゃうのよ初めて会った人にどんなふうに挨拶したらいいのかしらほらほらみんなの知ってる誰かさんがこれからいろんな人に出会いますどんなふうに自分の名前を言うのかどんなふうに人の名前をつくのか注意して聞いてみましょう Let's start! Hello! I'm Momo Taro. Hello. How you guys doing? Hello, hello. How was your weekend so far? Hopefully it's swell. Hopefully. Um. Welcome, John Mega. Uh, noon. I say that. The bread. Hello, and a hello. Um, so we're gonna be digging more into this tonight, today, whenever. Um, Hello, the uh, the title is actually behind What's the curtain. Um, I took it apart to take some pictures of the the um it's the boards nice in there, and I found a spicy uh, spicy boy. It's nice to meet um, you too. So uh, I need to fix that before I put it back together. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. where is that one? It's sh 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 here somewhere. It's one of these. It's one of these. Which one is it? This one? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Where is the spicy boy? What's your name? There he is. I gotta, I gotta fix that before, uh, before putting it all back together. It's nice to meet you too. Um, I do have replacements. I just need to get out the solder iron and go to town on it. Um, this thing is jank, by the way, on the inside. Oh my god. Um. So it's got a, it's got a Famicom, essentially in it, right? Um, Hello, I'm Paul Bethel. Here. What's your name? We can actually pause that for a second. Um, so it's got a Famicom inside it, uh, but you'll notice it looks a little different than a normal Famicom. Um, it's got a switch here. It's got a button there. It's got another button there. It's got a light there. There's that spicy capacitor. Um, it's got a bunch of crap up here. That's that's a. MMC one B one. That's a cart. That's the embedded cartridge there. Um, it's got the uh, the firmware, if you want to call it that. Um, this is a socketed chip. Um, Bridgewater, how are you doing? Uh, you need control for an I <laughs> CBM? Not quite. Not quite. Um, <laughs> it's IC's in it's a integrated circuit, uh, intercontinental. All right. <laughs> um. But yeah, so this is one of three boards in the thing. Um, this being, you know, the Famicom. This is the CPU, the PPU, uh, some RAM, some more RAM, I think, for the for the for the cartridge p portion of things, and a buttload of connectors down here. Uh, oh, and on the bottom side, there's some jank going on. Um, I see MB integrated circuit motherboard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell any of this is. Um, 
I, I don't know. This is underneath the uh, the processor here. This is going to a via. Um, this I think is going to the uh, the button circuit board. What what are? I think these are the button circuit boards, and these over here are the. Um, yeah, the uh, well, no, maybe maybe these are button circuit boards, and this is the uh, the other the other ones. So this is the button circuit board, right? Um, expansion port there, the uh, the touchpad, which by the way is in disgusting shape. Um, it's kind of especially designed, especially designed to fit into the design of the earstream. Thank you. <laughs> um, ravenous. Also on something, fluids, blood sugar. Currently eating nachos with chicken. All right, nice. Um, try this with a modern motherboard. No. Um, so this is uh, a very simple-ish motherboard. I think it's only one layer, one sided, one layer. Um, it's got it's got it's got jumps everywhere. So yeah, it's, it's probably only only a single layer on it. Um, I don't know what the hell these river things are. Um, but uh, but yeah, the, the controllers plug in here, one and two. The touchpad there, and then the extra buttons on the front panel, uh, on on the, on the top of the thing, they connect right here. That's what this is. Um, it's got a uh, shift register on it, so I figure it's it's um, uh, uh, clocked out on one of the expansion bits. I I assume I assume I haven't traced out any of these wires yet, by the way, or uh, any of these um, uh, connections here. I haven't done that yet. Um, uh, so yeah, this is this is how it's all connected in together. Um, this here is the the main, excuse me, the main uh, uh, video related stuff. <laughs> uh, there's a few a few potentiometer knobs in here um, to adjust things. Uh, studying this, yes, that's what that's what's over here. We'll, we'll get into that in just a little bit. Uh, I'm just going over my discoveries with the titler, the insides of the titler. Um, but uh, but yeah. So I that this one's also a, a single looks like a single um what's it uh a uh, single layer there's 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 jumpers freaking everywhere um yeah capacitors are not look look all right the only bad capacitor looks like this one over here this guy right here so I'm, I'm gonna have to replace that uh, before I put it back together um this is that touchpad thing oh boy it's in shape. It, it's in, it's in a shape, that's for sure. Um, I I I'm wondering if I can just like peel off whatever this is. Um, it might just be like a protective layer. Um, because like like I demonstrated the other day, it still does work, right? Um, it's just in god awful shape. Uh, so I might be able to just remove that. There was just zero ohm resistors. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly in a shape. Yeah, it's it's a, it's in a shape it can be in. That is correct. <laughs> it's not a good one, but it's one of them. Um. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the presses do. Yeah, I I didn't extensively test this because I didn't want to ruin it more while it was still you know. Um, in the thing, I didn't want to peel it up and make a mess. Basically, um. But uh, well, this is the uh, the front button board. Um, you can see this is a uh, the shift register here, um, so uh, yeah, not entirely sure how this one works. I have ideas. I have ideas. We'll figure it out eventually, maybe. Um, crusty adhesive, no, yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's what that one was. But and uh, this right here is uh, the back side of the uh, the little touchpad. This is the mechanism for uh, locking out the um, uh, the cartridge when you when you switch the uh, uh, the big the big switch on the front for game versus internal stuff. Um, I don't ignore the mess. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so I got a picture, a bunch of pictures of stuff. Uh, it's this board's a mess. This is a capacitor on the back end of it. I didn't even know. I didn't even realize that before. There's a capacitor like what, where is that? Uh. Like right over here somewhere on the back end. Right there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Did I not get another picture of that end? There it is. They put that capacitor in on the on the underside. Why? Why would you do that? 
That doesn't make any sense. It's not like there wasn't enough height for it because there's capacitors right around it. <laughs> this thing is so jank. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. But, yeah, so there's a lot of little knobs to, to toy with in here. I, I didn't touch any of those. Um, I, I didn't change any knobs or any of that, any of that kind of stuff. Um, so, but, uh, but yeah, it's overall in pretty decent shape. Uh, is it something official or not? Uh, I mean, from, from factory, uh, it probably from factory, uh, given how this is from factory. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, uh, the other pictures I've seen of the titlers, the titler, the underside of the, of the family come also has this mess. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's not just mine. <laughs> it's it's jank, yeah. Nintendo or third party? Oh, this is all sharp. This is all third party. Uh, this is this is all sharp doing it. Um, it's a it's a sharp Famicom. <laughs> uh, best not to sense to probably uh, do things like adjusting timing and voltage or, or the composite signal. You probably that's what I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Now, yeah. what's going on with that board? Chaos. Fix it in post. Yeah. The hardware version of fix it in post. Yeah. Oh. Hey, do by the way, happy. Welcome. Um, but yeah. So this is a fascinating, fascinating device. I noticed I got the, uh, the knob for, uh, my tripod in the way there. I need, I need a, like a real camera too. Oh yeah. There's another little capacitor underneath there. I tried to get the, uh, the text. I can only get half of it at a time. Um, but uh, yeah, I need I need like a real camera because like it's kind of grainy and nasty. Honestly, this is my my cell phone camera. Um, this thing, the, the quality of this thing is 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 trash. Honestly, it's trash. The camera, the camera quality. But whatever. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so we're gonna be working on more of this tonight. Uh, my goal is to start digging into the um, uh, the the DSL, the, the domain-specific language and the interpreter in this thing. Um, I need to find it. I think I have an idea of how to do that, but once we find it, we can start at least getting an overview of where things are in that. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's that's the plan for today. I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, I think I figured out why the flashcards menu doesn't show the gray bars in Thailand. Why is that? Uh, I got a decent DSLR, uh, but it's in my parents' place. Yeah, I need to get it. I need to get something off of eBay. Yeah. Uh, the PP on the Famicom has gray colors at palette index D2 and D3D. Th uh, 2D and 3D. And there's black colors. Really? Huh. So. So these are these are black then on the titler. Th that's interesting. All right. Is that what the uh, the colors? Uh, is that what the um? Uh, the palette that, that they use for that? Huh. According to the Nesta page, uh, PPU palettes at least. Yeah. So once I can get um, uh, a ROM cart, either my EverDrive or or some some stuff some shenanigans with the study box. Once I can get ROMs onto the thing, we can we can start verifying that and testing it and, and doing all kinds of of, of things. Um, I do have also a I, a um, uh, a ROM dumper in the mail um, that will hopefully work. Uh, that that comes in uh, Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I can try dumping the. Uh, that EEPROM on there and uh, seeing if we can get that loaded up at least in, in, in Messen and step through some of the code and see, see what it touches and how it talks to the rest of the system. Um, I did look around a little bit uh, the other day um, and uh, for, for the ROM of that thing. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really find it. Um, I didn't look that hard, um, but uh, I certainly don't have the ROM, so... Allegedly, they exist. Uh, it's been dumped before, but... Kenpai, hello, how you doing? Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Kenpai, I'm not sure if you uh, if you heard, but I, I, I did buy a, um, a ROM dumper, or a, an EEPROM dumper, uh, 
should be here in like two days or so, give or take. Um, let's see if it works. See if I can figure it out. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's open this up. So uh, over the past uh, week or so, I don't know, past few days, uh, I have been um, poking around at a bit uh, more things in this. Um, see if I can like figure out where all the uh, the test screens are and that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I did find out what that, that fourth, uh, that fourth, fourth read on the, um, uh, the PPU was for, not the PPU, the, 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 uh, controllers rather. Um, turns out that that lines up very nicely with, uh, input devices, uh, the four players adapter for the Famicom, not the four score, but this guy here. Uh, that fourth byte, so we got first byte, second byte, third byte, right there, and then the fourth byte, always one. Uh, and it checks for that. And if if this byte comes back as one versus, like, zero, um, it does some jank with one of the controllers on there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if, if, if it's being emulated correctly in Messin. I haven't... I need, I need to modify my... Uh, test ROM to actually read that stuff because um, it's 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 read in differently than uh, than the four score um, but uh, but yeah apparently like only one of the buttons matters on the external controller uh, to like start the start the uh, the sequence to hit start on the on the start page essentially to get the um, to select the page yeah yeah so it's, it's weird but we're getting, we're getting there. Yeah. Uh, finally decided what to do by somewhat uh, dead GPU. Uh, sell it as is. And the person uh, that buys it has the skill to solder replace on the memory chip. They'll have a cheap 4090. Oh my God. Uh, those three always X lines uh, are all one byte. Always X. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, uh, Oh, is it? Hang on. Oh, yeah, that's true. But then there's also this. So, first three bytes, the rest of them, always one. So, still. <laughs> still, when I uh, set the uh, set the emulator to be like, hey, there's a, there's a four score in here, that stuff is modified um the fourth byte stuff and and different different branches are taken because of that yeah not exactly wrong yeah, i'm just reading it a little wrong here but yeah so uh <clears throat> put did I put, did you put it in the oven yet <laughs> uh, oh yeah and uh quick update on my satellite uh so half of it's in pieces over here um the uh, the buttons uh, cleaned up nicely. Um, the contacts on the inside, uh, the ones that are attached to the motherboard, though that 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 end of it, um, they had heavy rust. Uh, so they've been sitting in vinegar for almost twenty four hours. Um, I've been mixing it around every once in a while, and and you know. Taking them out and scraping them with with some bamboo with some um, chopsticks that I've got some disposable chopsticks. Um, it's it, they're getting getting there. Um, it might be another. I might have to like keep them in there a freaking week or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, it's this this thing is in terrible shape. The one that I have. Um, the uh, the receiver doesn't look too bad, but uh, this end right here, the transmitter, that thing is disgusting. It's uh, I need I need to go out and, and get a. Um, a smaller like uh, tub or like a baking tin or something like, like the disposable baking tins or something, uh, just so I can put it in a bath of vinegar. Uh, because the plastic stuff cleaned up really nice with that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I need to try that on the, on the larger things. Um, but I don't have anything large enough for that, so yeah. Uh, there's also one line of below the shows all the bases are one, so you're not exactly. Oh yeah, I read that. Um, also into a new, into a new apartment. Oh. Found one that seems pretty good. Uh, it's very close to where I currently live, and it's a brand new building. According to online posting, it has a gym and possibly also a pool. Ooh. 
things I would never use. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, eventually we'll we'll have a look at this. Um, I'm not too worried about this thing. I'm not too worried about that. Um, specific, yeah, spe specific details are not known. Um, yeah, so this one. Um, so let's go. I have the board over here. Hang on. This is the, this is the, um, the transmitters board. Uh, it's kind of dirty, not terrible, but you no. Know, it is at least double sided. Uh, I don't think it's layered. Probably just a, I, probably just double sided. Yeah. Uh, it does need a cleaning though, so I'll take some alcohol to this. Um, some ISO isopropanol. Um, I'm, I'd like to clean off like the connector stuff but that i think i would need to desolder things and i'm not about to do that um i'm not about to desolder stuff but uh, this isn't in too too bad a shape yeah so but i do wonder if i can just if i can rig up a um uh what's it um like a battery uh uh a power supply that's not a battery. Probably, right? It can't be too hard because it, it, it's, it's what is it, like four or two C batteries? No idea. Um, oh, my God. Six. Six, six C batteries. Jesus. All right. <laughs> um, C battery. These guys, these chunkers. Um, uh, I love the match for scale, right? <laughs> it's even on like graph paper. So you could whatever. Whatever. Um what is in C right here. D is even larger. Um oh they're all one point one uh, one and a half volts. Aren't they? Alright. So yeah, I just need to figure out the voltage for it. And um yeah, I don't know. Why is there no B? I don't know. I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> it did and still do exist. They are, in fact, commercially available. It's not in the USB batteries. It's like a single, single A battery. It's just something you needed. Huh. Huh. Uh, one of the six most six most common. I guess B just really that was really uh, uncommon. Yeah, nine volt. I could just use a nine volt battery if anything. Well, I mean, a little one would uh would probably be drained pretty quickly, but um, no. Yeah. Uh, if they're all in series, yeah, they're all in series. Yeah, they're, they're all they're all in series. It's one. It's a positive and minus lead and nothing else. So yeah, they're all they're all in series in there. Um, uh, that hooks up to one side of the battery bank, and the other side of the battery bank is just tied to each other, tied tied to the two banks. Yeah. People don't uh, make portable electronics with normal batteries anymore. They don't. They really don't. At least the, the 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 portable electronics now, their batteries are rechargeable, so you're not just chewing through batteries, right? Well, the custom piece being used some twenty four gigahertz radio. What? Uh, anyway, all right. So the method of finding 
where the um, uh, this interpreter is. Uh, presumably, presumably, all that stuff is in a certain chunk of memory. Um, it has to be in in RAM somewhere because it's read from the tape, right? Just a little bit like that. Uh, so it has to be in the memory somewhere. It's it's not going to be in the system RAM um, because there ain't enough of it. Uh, there's just not enough of it, and it's, all of it's being used for something else, mostly. Um, to entire entire devices now. All right. Um, some devices have batteries in parallel, uh, so two leads isn't a guarantee. Uh, but yeah, the holders uh, should make it obvious. Yeah, yeah, it's it's they're not parallel. It's all in series. Um, but so up here, so the um the lower RAM. The 4400 to whatever, um, to 4FFF. This stuff is, isn't usually used too much, I don't think. Uh, but that's all going to be... Um, what's it? Uh, probably not tape stuff, data from the tape. That's probably going to be um, mostly uh, engine use. Um, at least that's what I've seen so far. Uh, there's a bunch of like tables for like like lookup tables, um, that are in in here. Uh, there's a bunch of controller stuff. That's where all oh, that's where all the controller reading nonsense is. Um, there's some some audio stuff it looks like as well. Um, yes, this is uh, uh variables that are used or cache variables for audio things. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and assume that most of the uh, 4400 to wherever um, is all like engine use. Whereas the data from the tape is probably going to be 5K and up. Um, I've seen a lot of clearing stuff for, uh, let's see, 6K. Um, there's some really weird ones going on in there. Um, Yeah, I don't know how much of this. You know, let's let's do this. Let's uh, settings, preferences. We're gonna turn off the um, the randomize uh, RAM. We're gonna make that all zeros, so we can see exactly where it puts some stuff without, you know, um, uh, uh, without having to worry about or confusing with um. Uh, the random the random power on state stuff. Um, let's, see, let's have a look at some of this stuff. Go. Oh, what happened? Did it pause? Did it break? Oh, right, because I've got a um, I've got a uh, uh routine in there for whenever it reads or a breakpoint whenever it reads from. 6,000-ish, right? Yeah, I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, so whenever it's reading from in that massive block. Um, so this first stuff here is all um, like clearing stuff out. I'm going to move that off screen for, for now. Um, this is all like for clearing routines. It's really weird, like clear tables. This This thing confuses me. It fills one page with, um, okay, well, I got to stop that. It fills one page with FF, right? Uh, starting at uh, this pointer here, um, uh, pointer 50. There's so many pointers, by the way. Like, oh my God, there's so many pointers. Um, come on, give me, give me this. Yeah, so starting at 6,000. So here, <clears throat> here, it'll fill that page, entire page with FF. Um, and then the next, what is this? Yeah, the next page with zeros. And then these tables with all, all the zeros. It's like, pick one. Why both? What the heck? You know? <laughs> uh, I think I mentioned once. Uh, I mentioned before once, but, but found an anime that I've been enjoying more, more than others. Although it's technically one of those uh, ultimate is <laughs> a 
character is OP and doesn't give a shit about the all my part. Level one, 99 villainous. I. That sounds familiar. I may have started reading that one. I don't know. I think I, I that sounds very familiar though. No. Um, but yeah, so this clears out all kinds of crap. Um, in weird ways. I don't know. It was fun, yeah. Uh, go down there. Uh, I've heard that name before. Yeah, it sounds familiar. It sounds very, very familiar. <clears throat> I'll have to have a look at that later. Um, but yeah, so it, do, it does some of that. It swaps out some RAM. All right, so yeah. Swaps in a bank, clears it. Swaps back to reading commands, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. Um, does some checks again. Uh, this, whoa, whoa, whoa. God, I hate that scroll where it like jumps the hundred lines, essentially. This hasn't hit yet. I'm not sure exactly what any of this does. Um, other than changing banks. I don't know why it wouldn't, or why, why, why it would do that kind of stuff. What game is this? Uh, this is, yeah, this is a learning tape, actually. Um, so this is this is, we're we're in the loading sequence right now of one of the tapes. Um just crap jumps. There's so many. They're everywhere. And not all of it is is decompiled either. So like this block right here. This is probably code. So let's say let's, is it code? Oh yeah, that's more code. Is this more code? Probably not. That or a? I don't think that's code. Unknown. I I haven't seen that actually used anywhere in um why didn't it uh Well actually it might it might be. I don't know. It It's it's possible. It's got one of the one of the pointers that I've that I'm already looking at. Um Possible, but not probable. Possible, but not probable. All right. Um, the physics divine things like in frogs doing it. Yeah, this is a really weird thing going on. Um, and uh, going through the tapes that I that I have, by the way, um, I stumbled across some more um, raw audio. Um, I don't know if I have the um, the study box versions of them. I I might. I probably do. I'll have to check. Uh, but I did record that to physical tape uh, just before stream. Uh, so that's what's on this guy. Um, it's one of the like supplemental English ones, I think. I don't know. Um, that's weird. I like a different shade of uh, the tape. So I, I can see how far it went with um, the tape I recorded. That's... Huh. Alright. The processing. Um, but I don't think we'll be doing that tonight. But... <clears throat> um, it's a very uncommon, uncommon editor signal, but yeah, still possible. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's. I certainly haven't seen that that um that addressing mode for that instruction. No, I haven't seen that addressing mode being used in stuff that's been executed yet that I can remember. Right? Uh, it's it's a valid code. It's a valid op code. I think. Right? I think it's a valid op code. Yeah? Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's an older code, sir, but it checks out. Yep. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is doing. Um, and it's got some more, like, shenanigans with pointers and loops and, and clearing things and setting things and pff, some table stuff that it clears and a word table and, and there's a jump point. No, that's literally, that's, why, why? That was not a data label, that's a pointer label, damn it. Why'd you jump there? Um Identifier just show that, um, but oh, okay, that's why it uh, there it goes. No, 
Um, yeah, I don't know. You pick up, oh, yeah. Clean code in 652 assembly? No. <laughs> no. Um, it's actually interesting mode that most people seem to ask, why is this here? Uh, it is incredibly useful for some things. I haven't found a good use case for it yet. <laughs> I'm kind of rather in disassembled code. Yeah, some of the code in this in this in this ROM is so jank. Like I was I was posting some of it on Discord the other day. Um but like where is this one? Um Yeah, like this one here. I guess this is a smaller one, but like load zero, branch equal. Uh, no, load a thing, compare it to zero, branch if zero. If you just load it, then branch if you need to. Like, what? Why? Why? Now, so the the binary, the actual binary is what uh, this column right here is. Um, so this is the the address column. Uh, the the number in brackets is the bank. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> the raw bytes are this column here, and then the disassembly is the rest of it. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what we're looking at. Um, where am I? There I am. Uh, <clears throat> um, so I'm actually going to... Did I turn that off? I did turn that off. All right. So we're going to let this play through a little bit. We're going get, to get it started. <coughs> God damn! Hang on. Ah. Macro based programming? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of the stuff does not look a lot of this does not look handwritten. Um a lot of it looks like either it could be some sort of compiler output or yeah, heavy macros. Heavy macros. Yeah. <clears throat> Load and set zero flag and branch instruction. Yeah, so uh, when you load up anything, right? So L uh, LDA. Um, if what you load into A is zero, that sets the zero flag. So you don't need to compare and say, hey, is this zero? You don't need to do that like as, a, as another instruction because it's already there, right? Now. <sighs> also currently having some fun figuring out the PS5 trigger feedback output. <laughs> oh. Yay, controller inputs. Um, all right, so we're going to let this run run for a little bit until it starts uh, getting into um, some other stuff. Right? Well, let's let's do that. I don't think it popped. Okay, let's... Uh, event viewer. Why is it so small? Oh, my God. Um, why are these down there? I don't need that. That's something I can. Huh. All right. Well, that's cool, I guess. See, uh, all the all these dots, by the way, uh, these are um, uh, like mapper reads. Um, the these ones here, uh, they're all different colors. <laughs> uh, but that one's a read. This one's an IRQ. Um, <clears throat> the IRQs are, uh, they, they fire when there's t uh, data to be read from the tape, as far as I'm aware. Uh, controller outputs. Ah, so sending to the controller, like to turn on vibration and all that kind of crap, right? Um, what is going on down here? What is all this? Let me read. I should be writing stuff. <laughs> Two thousand four. Two thousand four. The standard um. Uh, the standard thing, for uh. It might be. Probably is. I don't know. 
what, 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 what was that break point? I don't know what that break point was. All right. Um, so, oh, 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 come, come, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're lagging a little bit. Stop that. Uh-oh. Oh, it's chugging. Oh, it's chugging. Come on. Come on. Reset that. Okay, that's why I was chugging. My God. <laughs> Show list view. Okay, that's that's what I was missing there. Debug event viewer. Thank you. Existing borders. That's fine. Um. Anyway. Uh. So yeah. So this stuff here. That that's all character data. Right here. Uh, that, that's usually e easily distinguishable by the um, if if something's got like only half um, half filled in. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Calibration data. <laughs> uh, the big G is the universal gravity of Scott's and small G is the standard of Earth gravity. Units. Um. Yeah, there's not a lot right there. My goodness. This this is probably just um that might be the data from the tape. I don't know. That might be with the data from the tape. Alright, so let's do let's turn on that again. Uh, break Enjoy on English. read from that from RAM. Uh, read or let's also edit that or execute. And let's. Oh God, I thought I did this the other day. I thought I. Do not reduce sound on the background. It is all right. What are we reading? Sixty-one uh, B. This guy there. At Y, Y zero. I'm looking at the wrong spot. That right there. <laughs> Sixty. Right. It's 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 catchy. It's catchy. No. Load that branch minus. We are not minus. Increment the pointer. Do the um. Overflow check on that. We're fine. Uh, load up pointer 22, 61E. Why way over there? Okay. Uh, no, that was store it in 1E. Okay. Huh? Sure. Okay. Uh, load zero. Increment Y again. Store it there. Is this like... So is this like the... I, I, I have an I Oh. This might be like a command sequence from the tape that it like modifies <laughs> as it goes. I don't know. I don't know. Um, loading up uh, 20... Two plus zero, the pointer. Um, adding two to it, storing it back in there. So now at sixty twenty. Um, to the high, the high high byte. No, low byte. Oh, I was from the different spot. Okay, I was, I was, yeah. Get a zero extent, you're right. So then it just jumps past the stuff it just wrote for whatever reason. Go to loop again. Load up. Uh, load Y zero. Twenty is at one C. That E eight. Okay. What the hell is this? 
four, four, five, five, six. We're gonna, all right, let's say, edit that. Byte at four, five, five, C. What does it do? Who knows? But now with that, we can, once we name it, we can actually see what other things touch it. Um, so some things do touch it. All right. Uh, transfer eight over to X. So that's a uh, lookup then. Uh, byte 24, I think, is used a lot. I think I've seen that around a lot. Yeah, that, that's used all over the place. That's something important. Uh, which bank is it in? Uh, this one here? Uh, well, we're in... Um, we're down here, I think, in the first bank. I think. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, yeah, so this isn't really the bank. Um, ID. That's more of the uh, the address in PRG. Uh, so that's the high high byte of the um, the PRG uh, address. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is the uh, the low bank uh, hex eight thousand. Um, the second page. Uh, first page being the one that's um, uh, banked into the high. High um, ROM, uh, C thousand. Um, but this table is up there. That's way up there. Uh, view member viewer. That's this table here. Um, this stuff. Uh, yeah, probably not hundred. So I have it set to one hundred twenty-eight bytes. Uh, it might not be that, but it's at least one hundred one because I've seen. Um. I've seen it being read out to that uh, that length, which I think is isn't that uh, sixty eight? What is sixty eight in um, decimal? Um, I'll do that real quick. No, I don't want to try premium LinkedIn. Uh, sixty eight in decimal is one hundred and four. Okay. Uh, so that's at least one hundred and four long. Uh, at a label, at least one hundred and four. Twenty uh twenty two uh, stack pointer. Code and stack. Uh twenty. Uh so twenty code pointer, this one's stack pointer. That would make sense. Yeah, if that's stack stuff. Alright. So if if um six thousand is the the engine stack. As part of the bytecode interpreter, yeah, I figured I figured I was in that area for the bytecode interpreter. That's what I'm trying to find, uh, and trying to like map out a little bit. Yeah, it's like an hate on. <clears throat> um, do I use a cloud filter or any sort of mic activator? Activator? What do you mean activator? Uh, a preamp? Um, uh, I have a preamp. It's not. I'm not. Be, I'm not using it right now. Um, but I, I am going through a mixer uh, for this. That that does a few things. Um. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not. Not doing anything. Cloud Lifter. Huh. I don't know what that is. Cloud Lifter. Who's getting up? A month of development. Oh no! That I um. It's kind of what the mixer's doing. Um. <laughs> lifts the floor of the mic. No, I'm not. I'm not. I I've got it plugged into a into a into a mixer that uh, isn't really doing stuff on. Um, uh, I'm turning on the low, but I'll turn on the low a little bit on the um the mixer, but that's about it. Um. But yeah, okay. Let's let's rename let's rename. Uh, what was it? Uh, this one. You said tw uh, twenty twenty two. Okay. Let's. Nope. Uh, edit. Stack pointer. Um, like that. Uh, and then you said the other one, uh, 20 would be data pointer then, right? 
20 um, or a code pointer. Code pointer. Okay, so stat pointer and code pointer. Oh, right, you notice how I can actually see what I'm typing there now? <laughs> That was one of the fixes of the past year since I've updated this. <laughs> um, V211 starts an array of 128 bytes, describing how each byte code takes arguments and produces results. Uh, V291 is an array of 128 code pointers, addresses of the byte code handlers. Okay. Uh, I see B. Let me say this stuff up here. Uh, 128 bytes. Okay, so I, I was I was correct in that then. Um, edit label. Uh, so yeah, it is, it is 128 bytes then that I've got, and then the next one is 128 code pointers. I knew it was a word table. <laughs> I know it was a word table. <laughs> they are straight code pointers, not uh not biased for use with RTS. Yeah, so um, used with like a uh jump indirect. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what would I name this? Um, handler table? Table. Uh, function, function pointers? Um, handlers. 128. Um, Said jump direct, by the way, is that eight two zero A? I may have seen that one. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, for use with a jump adder, um, table handlers, and this guy, edit label. What you're saying is uh. Like a metadata table? Bytecode metadata? No. Oh. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, add label. Table. Bytecode metadata. So then this right here would be, um, let me turn off the bike code there. Uh, so this then would be the current metadata for that, for that, um, that bike code. So edit. Um, Like the metadata. <coughs> yeah. Um, all right. So we load it. Uh, load it up. Store it. Transfer X to A. Shift it. Transfer it back. Read the handlers. Um, so uh, so this would be just the bytecode then. The 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 bytecode under inspection. Look at uh, from our, uh, org dot text. I call them parameter result control bytes. Okay. Do I have that open? I do have that open. Um, do I not have the uh, the newest here? Is this the uh, the uh, your latest one Tw from twenty nineteen? Wrong file. Wait, this one. That's not from. Oh, okay. Uh, where the hell is that one then? Do I have that somewhere? Okay. Uh, I need to see if I can find that. Damn it. 
That's not the one I want. I don't want that one. Find it in there. Okay. Uh, let's go back. That one really that open anymore. Uh, Ness, study box, ROMs, firmware, org text. This one. Aha. Let's rotate that over there. This one. Script bytecode tables. Records up by two tables. Uh, a table parameter controllers up by uh, at there and a table of handler function pointers there. Parameter result control bytes are laid out as follows. N magic. See below. Um, stack arguments. Pop that. Matt for stack arguments. No arguments. Mm. Extra arguments. <coughs> The magic in the case. Read an instruction stream byte, multiply it by that, then fetch that many stack entries. <laughs> Doesn't actually be reused. Okay. So let me uh over here. Oh, those aren't those aren't jumps. Those are li that's literally just data those. I, I was gonna like map that out in the um emulator, but I guess that doesn't really make sense. Well, Okay. Yeah, so basically what I, what I can do is I can... From the handler's table... This. Can I copy out the hex? Like, does that a, is that a thing I can do? Yeah, okay. Um... Oh, this is all going to be jank as hell. Um, <sighs> no wonder I had a plug for this. Yeah. Um, I'm debating whether I want to see if I can figure out awk for this or write a quick little script. Basically, I want these in um, an easily readable format. Uh, God, um, this is going to be... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, stop. I don't... Not, not index stuff. Grep for handler01. That was 10. <laughs> this guy. No arguments, no results. 1994. Oh, no. So uh, what I meant was um, this table. I just want it um, in an easily, like, uh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean. I want the address to just list it out. One line each so I can, I can be like, all right, we're going to have a look at this address. Go over there. All right, we're have a look at this address. Go over there. Um, something like, yes. Uh, that'd swap around, well, kind of? Yeah. Kind of? You did the conversion. But I want it in a table, damn it. Um, hang on, hang on. Um, that's just going to be two and then one because it's reversed globally. What do we mean? Oh, because ah, oh, Vim, please. I that's the one thing I hate is the the weird escaping for things I gotta do. You know, you bastard. 
No. What is back reference in Vim, uh, Regex? Is it Slash? That's what it was. All right. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. Um, now, uh, S -ba 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 -ba. space, we're going to turn that into a R, is it? That's it. That's what it is. All right. Sort that. Okay. That's what I want right there. <laughs> ba yeah, basic, I guess. I don't know. Thank you for the follow-up. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, e -ba 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 -ba. Uh, what the hell did I just call that file? There it is. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Um, fantastic. Uh, I need the bytecode on this one, don't I? Well, I don't need, but it'd, it'd be helpful, I guess. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay, so it is, a I guess, like, addressing modes? For the for the stuff, oh Jesus! <laughs> All right. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna on here um, unique that file. Um, got text, text. There it goes. All right. Two four D eight two. 4D. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one? Do I have the? Yeah, I do. All right. So we're going to uh, uh, go to go an address. Mm -hmm. 8 to 4D. <laughs> uh! It's a jump. It's just a jump to somewhere else because of course it is. God damn it. God damn it. Um, it's an infinite loop. You're right. What the? F Jumps to itself. What, what, is, the, what is the result supposed to be on, on these then? If I could A1, yeah. Uh, 80, 80, 81, if I can type, my God. If I could A1. Halt. Okay. Um, I need a naming convention for this stuff. Um, it's for these handlers. Uh, just handler. How about that? Handler 81. Okay. Uh next. Eight three six seven. Uh go to control G. Okay. Eight three six seven. Right there. The sum of two arguments. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Forty four is used a bunch. Okay. Let me get rid of that guy for now. That doesn't do the scrolling thing. Um Okay. I found math! Oh boy! Yay! Pointer, 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 pointer. That's not really, uh, those aren't really pointers then. That's just words. 
Um, yeah. Uh, 30 and 32. Are the, would those just be, like, are those um, arguments then? Are they on this table somewhere? Temporary pointer. Uh, Alright, so using point code. Uh, we're just, um, like arg one and two, I guess. Would that make sense for that? Arguments. I think one of them might also be uh, results. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, trampoline. <laughs> what is a trampoline in this context? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, so we'll we'll tentatively name these argument one or argument A yeah, one and argument two. I guess. I don't know. Well, um no, A and B would be easy to read, I think. No, I'll cancel that. Argument. Edit label. B. A little, a little more distinctive. A. A and B. Well, eh, not really, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It'll work. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, what was that again? It was 6, 7 is what I'm looking at. 6, 7. Uh, what did I say it was handler underscore thing? Um, get rid of that. Uh, labels. D, uh, F, handler 81. Okay, so handler for CB. No, yes. Handler CB. Uh, this one. Edit. CB. Some. Uh, add carry store. Uh, load add carry store. A and argument B result in argument A. Uh, seven five, right under it, is subtracting. Uh, at a label, this one is this one five CC. Yep. Handler, CC. Subtract. Um, argument B from argument A. I can put these on one line. End. Result in argument a. Uh, is eight eight three the next one? Mm, eight three eight three eight three eight D. Let's see D. This guy here. Uh, all right. Eight three eight D. To do? No idea. Okay. Uh, subtracting that from zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Edit label. Uh, handler for CF. Um, trampoline is kind of uh, indirect jump, isn't it? Uh, as in, it's somewhere, it's somewhere that the other code jumps to, which in turn jumps to somewhere else. I could see that. All right. Hmm. All right, uh, subtract argument A from zero, 
result in argument A. Jojo, how you doing? We're getting there. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, all right, next. Um, 8.3DF uh, for CD. Do I already do CD? I guess not. Um, uh, control G, 8.3DF. This guy here. Edit label. Handler uh, CD. Basically negate. Is it? I don't know. My math skills are um, piss poor. <laughs> the zero arg one. Um, the the one I just did before. Um, this one here. Negate. Yeah, my ma my math skills are are terrible. Uh, the hell's going on here? Oh my god. Uh, we're JSRing somewhere else. Loading an argument. JSRing to. Okay, so negate. I guess it could be negate. What is this? Uh, mark as code. Load eighty RTS. What? Where were we? Where'd it come from? Where are we going? Got an idea. Um, <laughs> where's the... Oh, it's not a breakpoint that I hit here. It's... Ah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. 3D... Eight, eight, no, 8-3-D-F. Go there. That's... Okay. Ugh. Um, if it's positive, negate. All right. Uh, edit. Negative positive. Negates argument A if it is positive. There's another one. Um, which is negation? Same as. Okay. Uh, so, uh, go over here, handler CF, this guy is just going to be edit. No, 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 no. Edit. No. Hey. Edit that. Negate. <clears throat> um, where were we now? Uh, I did DF that one. Um, let me uh, let me see if I can get Pepper working again. I hate I hate like silence like this when I'm digging through things. I tried I tried loading Pretzel before and um, it didn't want to load, which was neat. Come on, chat, sign in. Come on, let's go. Oh, I loaded this time. Stations. There we go. Let's go. Let's, let's go with this working. Let's do this one. doesn't even register. Oh, because it's... It's just the song. Okay. All right. Um, <sighs> Store it in po <laughs> point... Okay, that's probably just a... Not a pointer, then. It's probably an intermediate value somewhere. Um... Load argument, push it. Load argument. Pu oh, okay. So that's loading up the word and pushing it. Okay. Uh, now, uh, pushes the word to the stack, the system stack. Um, clobbers it with B. Okay. 
then negates that one if positive. Okay, so it negates both of them if positive. Um, what's in... Uh, what's the return of... Um, Whatever's in. Wait, so negative one, it returns essentially in A. Or whatever's in the argument A. Huh. What was I? Keep losing my place. So it returns whether it was negative then. I mean, I guess? Exclusive wars it with this. And stores it. So this is essentially the result of both of the, um, the negations. So when the color looks at the high bit. Mm. I don't know. Put a breakpoint there to see if it ever triggers. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. It's fine. Uh, maybe. 8, 4, uh, 2, C. Or do you? Negative, positive. God, they're everywhere, aren't they? Um, C, E. Handler, C, E. Uh, negative, positive. Puts, again, in that 50. Okay, so that's like a... You know, so that's, that's not going to be a point on that. It's more, more of a word, I guess. Um, yeah, this isn't really a pointer. That's going to be a word. Work word at 50. Should we negate F positive? It looked like uh, absolute to me. You know, that makes more sense here, actually, because branch plus over the negate. Yeah, that's... That actually does make more sense. Um, absolute. If it is negative. BSD Max, how you doing? Uh, this is Messin. Messin 2, specifically. How you doing? Welcome. Um, uh, I don't like that name. Uh, absolute, um, absolute, R A. How about that? <coughs> uh, I guess it's a multiplier team because uh, my multiplier starts very similar in the getting, if necessary, and keeping track of whether uh, exactly one was negative. Okay, I, I, all right. So that's what would be in word fifty then for that one, for that last one maybe. Um, because you want to keep track if only one of them was negative and not both of them, right? Right. Let's let's go back to that one real quick. Um, eight three uh, D F. Uh, so stores are in there, and then that Eeyore would get only if one of them was um was negative, right? Both the both negative same as ne uh, neither. Right. 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 Um, okay. PLA, PLA, argument B. So then it restores. Oh, this one, this one's even swapping the two. All right. It swaps A, which it's fine. Um, what's this? So this is right after it swaps it back or, or, or gets, um, argument A and B back to where they were, uh, should be. Um, uh, T, X to A. X. X? What the hell's an X? What 
the hell is an X? <laughs> Nothing, it stores it. <laughs> it puts it on the stack and saves it. That's all it does. Okay, fair. Fair, okay. Uh, clears out these two, so that, that makes this a word, not a pointer, I guess. Um... Uh, 34, 35, 36, 37. Um, yeah, this is going to be word 36. Two bytes. Yeah, make sure not to clobber it. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, load X10. So 16. Okay. Uh, do some rotations. Branch carry clear. Down to here. Is this this is this is just multiply, isn't it? Load the word, add it to the argument, store it, load it. This is a two byte. Uh, this is a word word add. Adding two words together, and then some more shifts. Yeah. Okay. Add it. Multiply arg A and arg B. Um, result being in in what? Thirty-six or thirty-four? Um, these are our loops, right? D1. Yeah, I'm going to leave those as um, uh, like that right for now. Um, okay. Multiply. 50. Okay. Edit label. Multiply argument A and argument B uh, result in word <clears throat> well, it's loading it up from this one, right? From 50. Or, well, hang on. Um, is that like the negative thing? Because this is, this is renegating it. For both of them. 34 and 36. What the f Huh? No, it would be in 34 then. Okay. Because it... You're multiplying two words. It could be... A four-word result. Duh! <laughs> um... Okay, so uh, this label we're going to get rid of. Uh, this label, edit label. Um, double word, 34. Um, okay. Uh, so this, edit, results in double word. 34, um, word 50, that is the negation thing we set aside before. So that's not part of the multiply. That's that's the, well, not, not part of the actual multiplication math. Um, this is a post-process for it, essentially. Um, yeah. Um, and this is the negation, if needed. Um, and yeah, result is in both A and B. Okay, so this is uh, handler multiply, multiply arg A and or arg A by argument. B result is a double word in both 
argument A and argument B. Eighty eighty six simulator running right now is bright. <laughs> um Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh put a little comment here. Um Negate if uh one input arg uh was negative Two, two. Where does this go? Oh, that's literally this. It's freaking loop. Um, I'm gonna, we're just gonna add this label so I can just L eight four two two loop like that. It's fine. Um, this guy edit L eight four. What was it again? Eight four one F um, positive. Okay, all right. Um, so we don't need to do that then. Uh, seems correct to me. Uh, a five billion byte at word fifty. Hmm. Well, the word. Um, also, the four bytes starting at thirty four. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's a double word there, I guess. Yeah, the B word. An example of the ace we used uh, and worked out how it functioned, we were really spoiled for choice on mechanism. <laughs> were we? <laughs> I honestly don't even remember the uh, the specifics of that. I remember it was basically like dump a bunch of data to RAM somewhere, right? And then the payload, or yeah, dump the payload to, to RAM somewhere. And then the, the ace itself was just like, hey, put this address in the stack and then run this bytecode or something something like that, right? Wasn't it something like that? <laughs> then jump to this bytecode. Or, yeah. Something like that. It was deceptively simple from what I remember. It was, it was only a few bytes. Uh, all right. 8479. Uh, gee. 8479. Right here, handler C E. Right. Did we just? No, we didn't look at this one yet. Um, not that one. Control G. Double word. Double word. Is that just like a chop? Kind of like it just. It just. just it just gets um, the low bytes of that. All right? Edit label. Handler. Uh, this is E0. Uh, e um, handler CE. What does this one do again? Got the absolute word. What is this? Um... Save A. Yeah, back up A. All right. Put B into A. Let's just swap. Okay, let's swap arguments. All right. Um, arg A and arg B. Swaps the contents of argument... A and argument B. Um. Okay. Get the absolute of A, swap them. Get the absolute, essentially, of B. Uh, swap them back. Okay. Um, so it gets the absolute of both of those. Um, this guy. Save X, save Y. 
Is this another multiply? No, what the heck? What is this? No, what, what's going on here? Um, Clobber, uh, the first part of the double word. Load 10 and rotate that onto the top of argument A. Is this division? Is that what this is? Is this division? Looks weird not to be a div. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna use this syntax because I'm un unsure. Eight five eight C. Possibly a divide. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, that possibly a divide. Um, result in argument A. Edit label. Result in argument A. Uh, there's something that seems like, uh, the next math operation. Uh. Yeah, I'll leave it as, uh, an unsure for now. Well, we can go back to it. It's fine. All right. <clears throat> Hell's handler CE again? Oh, that's what I'm, I'm stepping through, essentially. Um, so it does a divide. Well, it's the double word. Which is, what, that was the intermediate, wasn't it? Hang on. That was the intermediate of this guy. Because it loads up zero, rotates stuff onto there. The remainder! That's like a remainder then, right? Maybe? So is that on the upper word? Branch plus. A3. Okay. So it does that twice. Three times. Huh. Result remainder pair depending. Uh, explaining that uh, other function drops half the D word. Hmm. Result in argument A. Um, remainder in. Double word um, 34. 34. Uh, double word. Double word. Not capital D. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll name this in the divide. I'm fairly sure there's a div division. Um, divide. Argument A by argument B. Do I have that order correct? I think so. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Handler CE. Uh, it's the one again. Divide is the remainders. Branch not equal down to here. Four seven. Where's four seven? Six seven down here. Okay, so that's a JSR, so this is gonna be code. Word fifty, is that used here? Load it, exclusive or it. That's the negation again. Okay. This is more negation stuff, isn't it? Um, seven, uh, this is going to be positive. Um, the heck is this? <laughs> it jumps into the middle of this? Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. 
Because one sets the carry, and we're clearing the carry here. Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh, um, edit label. Negate. Um, <laughs> I don't like that where that that does. Um I get what don't the care. There it is. Yeah. Thank you for the follow, appreciate that. <clears throat> so it's so hacky. Everything is so hacky. Everything. Everything. Uh so there's that negate. Alright. Um positive stuff. Uh so the result would be in double word, I guess. Double word. Uh, the the low of the double word, the low half, the low word of double word. Um, I guess. Yeah, it's like a sign division. Can't have code duplication, obviously, right? Uh, I suspect uh, 34 is only a double word for multiply uh, as a word elsewhere, but probably. Probably, but I'm leaving it like that for now. It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Um, it makes it stand out from word, word 50, at least. Um... All right, edit label. Um, probably a sign divide. Um, divides argument A from uh, uh, by argument B. Um, C E S I division. Oh, yep. Well, there we go. See. <laughs> well, so it is a sign division. There we go. Um, result in. Uh, I'll say word thirty-four. Even though that variable doesn't exist, I will figure it out. It's fine. Um, uh, C F S unary negation. I have one here. Handler C. I haven't. Yeah. Got that one. Negate. Oh, I can I go there? Go to location. Yeah. Uh, eight four eight five. What is this one? Who knows? Um, in po comparison. Both parameters are equal. The result is zero. Otherwise, the result is one. Oh, it's a comparison. Okay. Let's go there. That's control F, control G, eight, four, eight, five. This guy here, edit label, handler C5. Goes over to CC. This is subtract. I need to rename this subtract. I didn't exactly finish the previous handle. It did really? Oh, that's true. Because I only went. I, I. Yep. 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 Eight, four, seven, nine. You are correct. Because I went into the sign. Yeah. This one uses another handler. Oh, so this one puts the result in somewhere else. Okay. So this one just puts the result in argument A. Calls, um, handler, C, E, sign, divide, 
result in argument A. Opposed to word 30, 34? All right. Um, so now, now we can move on to the next one. Eight, four, nine, two. This guy here. Uh, handler, C five. Why is this in? Wait, what? Switch, huh? Wait a minute. Huh? This jumps into the middle of another friggin' handler. What? Eight, four, eight, five. Did I? This is the uh, huh? What? Um. Oh no, it's I'm look I'm looking at this one. I'm, uh, yeah, I am looking at the what the huh? Subtract, and then where's this branch go to? God damn it! Uh. <laughs> Where does this go? Why? Some handler share epilogue code. Yes. Hmm. Um. Did I finish a four eight five? Thought I did. I mean, I'm getting into it now anyway, because this one just calls that anyway. So. We're looking at it anyway, <laughs> regardless. <laughs> so I really need to save some bites. Oh, yeah, they saved something. Not my sanity, that's for sure. Um, these are all going to the... What the... F branch not equal. Branch not equal. Branch equal. So wait. Uh, um... Oh, okay, these go to different places. These go to different places. Um, not equal branches there. Equal branches of two instructions earlier. Oh! <sighs> Just hey Don. welcome. Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate it. Um, I, uh, I hate this. I hate... I hate this so much. So much. Long branches? Yeah. 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 All right. This one is going to load Y, store it, decrement it, store it. What the? Huh? Return one. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Return one. That's what that does. Um, returns one in argument A. That's what it does. This one. It's return nothing. Something else. I need to go back to where I was. Hang on. C2. Okay. Edit. Long jump uh, to return one. Long, uh, not long, uh, long jump, long branch. Long branch. Turn one. Yeah. The callers probably actually compare then. Hmm. Is this just a true and the other one is just a false? Possibly. Possibly. Um, we don't know where this one's going. Uh, 
load y zero, store it into a, branch equal. Sure. Sure. Where does that branch equal to? Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Return zero. Us. <sighs> Compare? Uh, yeah, so it, 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 that's what uh, Bridgewater's notes have. Yeah. It has. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is a long branch to return zero. Subtract. Uh, have a look at argument A. If it is not equal, we're returning zero. Otherwise, if it's equal, we're returning one. Compare. Uh, returns. Uh, um, compares. Argument A and argument B uh, returns one if equal, right? No. Do I have the backwards? Where the hell is my debugger window? Where'd it go? Oh, Jesus. Bugger, because I've got that open. Yeah. Um, if both printers are equal, return result, result is zero. I think you got the backwards. Um, if they're equal, it returns one. It's equals? Yeah. Uh, equals. Uh, return value in argument. Um, and then this guy, I'm going to assume is a not equals. So this is the other way around. This is uh, handle. This is not equals then. This is also a uh, handler. Fucking what was it again? A four nine two is C six. Um, 
Not equal. Yes, and it's the same code, just inverted returns. Yeah. Um, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So it it already it goes through this stuff here, right? And then this this is another long jump to whatever this is. Load y, argument a. All right. If it's equal. Return zero. Same thing with zero plus one. That feels like a weird way to do that, honestly. Basically, compared to zero routine, returning one if argument A is zero. This here? Or the other one? Uh, the one up. No. Oh. Get in code golf as part of their day job. Yeah. They couldn't just invert the compares. No, they had to. <laughs> we had enough for a dedicated, not equal, but we need to do the weird shit to conserve precious space everywhere else. Oh, yeah. 4A1C. Um, this one here. Um. All right. So this is compared to zero. Um. Oh yeah. So it. Right. Okay. So equals zero then. So if if these. Oh God. Equals zero. If argument A is zero, return one. Else, return zero. God. <laughs> Boolean not. Shut up. <laughs> uh, and this is going to be a long jump, a long branch to uh, equal zero. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so backwards. It's so jank. So jank. <laughs> I expect nothing less. Nothing less. Uh, all right, so that was that guy. Nine eight is right here. <laughs> Edit label. Handler C seven. What are we doing now? <laughs> it's Japanese code. <laughs> Jumping right off into subtract. Cool. All right. Load up arguing A. Oh, God. What is this? Um, a more comparison stuff. Okay. Uh, so we subtract. All right. Minus uh, means that. Argument A was larger? No. Ma no, the other way around. Argument A minus argument B. It'd be minus if argument B was larger. Right? Not that one. This one. Um, arg A... Arc B. And then this guy. Edit label. Uh, arg, arg A is greater than or equal to Arc B. Can you not?
bastard driving around with loud, loud music. <sighs> Here's something. Yeah. Stream delay mobile. Yay. Mobile. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Okay, so returns one if less than. Um. Uh, if. If argument A is less than argument B. Return one. Else, return zero. Apple iPad registered trademark. <laughs> Apple TM iPad registered trademark. C7 is less than. Yes. Since zero is false and one is true. Hmm. Next, A4, 8 for A1. That's right there. Cool. Um, edit that. Uh, C8. Yeah, I'll probably that. I hate how, like, that changed also. Oh, God. Um, oh, this is, here's another negation on it. Oh, God. Another one that's got to reverse. Ah... Uh, <laughs> ah. All right. Um, C8. All right. So we're subtracting. Cool. Um, minus equals. One is... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. All right. Um, so this guy. Branch minus. At that. So that's also going to be arg A... It's less than arg b. This one, branch not equal. Arg a is not equal to arg b. Branch not equal, again. Edit label. Arg A not equal to Arg B. Branch equal, return one. Huh? No, 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 no. Arg A equals Arg B. What? What the hell's going on here? Less than or equal to? I guess? We'll, uh... We'll run with that for now. In a label. Less than e or equal um, if handler handler argument A is less than or equal to argument B else return zero. S uh, that makes C9 or C8. The next one. Whatever's next. Uh, C. Probably C9, yeah. Which is just going to be the negation of this. God. Um, 8, 4, B, 0. That's the next one. C9, yep. 
at it. Um, handler C9. Uh, so that calls this and then just negates it? Is that what that does? Yeah, that just negates that. Um, so this, yeah, it's just going to be greater than. Not not greater than or equal, it's just greater than, I think, right? Yeah. Greater than. If argument A is greater than... It's three. It's greater than argument B. Return one. Else return zero. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Edit there. Negate. Um, all right, 8, 4, B, 6. Is that the next one? Yes, it is. That's C, A. Okay. Edit label. Handler. C, A. What are you doing? Another compare. Oh, Jesus, another comparison. Less than negates it. So it's greater than. That's just greater than. All right. Again, a negate previous JSR result. Greater than or equal to? Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than recall. Uh, is this the next one? A three six seven. A three. A five. That A five is is a. Uh, um. Is a load. Yeah. Okay. So what is this? Uh, mark code as code. Got another one. Eight four B C. Is that in here somewhere? No. Eight four B C is not a, a direct handler. Okay. We're gonna see if that's called anywhere though. So we're just gonna label eight four B C. Do that right there. Hmm. As far as I know, it's not called anywhere. Okay. As far as I know. Um. Eight six seven. We already did that one, right? Eight six seven. Yeah, that's some. Okay. Yep. Uh, next, we've got 84A1. C. Wait. C8. Where, where did it C8? We did C8, 9A. 9. Okay, we just did that one. CA, we just did. And then uh, this guy. DA. So we're going to go over there. We're going to go to 84CB. Woo! Mark as, come on, code. Let's go. Uh, edit label. Uh, handler. Uh, da. JSR. So that's also code. Come on, come on. Code. Oh God, another. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so it negates. Negates A, puts something in B, divides. Oh, boy. Mark as code. 
Oh, Jesus. What is this? 84 BC would be... Um, let me see if I do my proxy. <laughs> 84 BC. Um, 84 BC. This guy. Uh, greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that's... Well, let's, well, it's probably not a handler, but um, it might be called from one. Greater or equal to zero. Yeah. If argument A greater than or equal to zero, return one, else return zero. Now this, what the, what is this nonsense? All right. Load X20. Uh, hex 20. Load A. Branch plus over to here. Okay, so edit label. This is going to be 84D6. Eight, label 84D6. D6. Positive. Um, and seven. What the hell? Previous Ipit reverse, enge uh, reverse engineering experience was 8051. 80, 80, okay. Um, I don't hear, don't hear no reason to learn six months before finding me. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to be an influence. <laughs> um, what, the, what, it, what, it, what, it, why is it going to 700? Why is it going to seven? Nothing else is going to 700 in this. This one just wants to go to 700. For, it wants to store X in 700. Because reasons. Ah. Um, all right, so we'll name that. Edit label. Byte. 700. At, at, that's a table. Oh, God, that's a table, isn't it? No, it might be a word. Oh, what the? F what is going on here? Um. Well, next to store X. So this is going to have positive or negative. No, not that one. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, uh, that's going to be 20 if positive. Uh, 2D if negative. Which, sure. Um, A, 10. Okay, so divide by 10? Why don't you shift? Oh, the toward. Or it with 30? What the? F what the hell? ASCII minus ASCII space. Uh, this is DA. Opcode DA. Mm, byte code, same thing. More or less. Oh, oh, almost same thing. Um. Is it? What, what's that? What the hell is at 720? Is anything at 720 in RAM? Nothing's at 720 in RAM right now. Because that's a buffer. It's storing there. God damn it. <laughs> ah. You're going to find some print and scan routines. Right. Okay. Yeah, so this this could be a an empty string then. Also explains the div. Does it? Y 
Yeah, okay, yeah. I guess. Oh. Um. Is this a loop? 8, 4, F, 8. Oh, yeah, that's a loop. Fight 700. Uh, so that's a table, then. No, that's not a table. Um. <laughs> that's just... Well, maybe. Hang on. Take one X, take one Y. Where's Y set in this nonsense? What do I zero? Okay, so that's either one or two. So that's a word, then, at 700. That's a word. Edit label. Word! Which makes sense, because everything's in words in this. Yeah. String handling in this is atrocious, by the way. Oh, I'm sure it is! I'm already starting to see some of it. Um, okay, so this is some sort of buffer then at 720. String output could be uh, or, uh, E3. That's going to be a loop right there. Um, label 84E3. Yep, that's a loop of some sort. Uh, this one is also a loop of some sort. Has it stored uh, for space or negative? Then a digit starting at offset one and increments the offset. Mm. Yeah. So then, well, Thirty is zero. So oring gets you the ASCII value of the number. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then that stores it. So y is zero starts at zero. Increment y. Load that. Branch not equal to the loop. Load it. Branch not equal to the, to the loop. So it gets that down to zero. Gets the argument down to zero. Yeah, this is... Oh, God. That's disgusting, but sure. Um, yeah, it's, it's doing it one digit at a time. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what, that, what that's doing. Um, 720 is, the, is, is some output here. Stringify to 720, then reverses it into 700 because 720 is backwards. Ah! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence the increment and, dec or, uh, increment and decrement. Okay, I see. All right. Uh, so this. No, edit. No, edit this label. Edit that label. Um, uh, binary to ASCII. Um, sort backwards. Starting at address. Seven. 720 just starting up. Um, and then this guy here reverse above result and store in 700 Okay. Yeah, so this is I to A. That's basic no, this is study box byte code. So this is some some other language. Some other domain specific language specific to the study box. Um 
don't think it's basic. Um, be funny if it was some variation on it, though. Uh, it's something. We don't know what it is, but it's something. All right, this guy. This is going to be um, int to string. Um, stringifies argument a uh, result in buffer at 700 does it store this length anywhere Null terminated. Load zero. Start at the end. Edit label. No. I suppose it could have been or looked uh, like a basic, but we can't know at this point. Right. Since all we have to go on is the compiled bytecode. You know, they have their own language, but it, go, uh, I guess it makes sense since it uses 16-bit ints. Uh, also, we're trying to length an X, although I doubt anything uses that. Yeah, seeing that it's uh, null terminated, I don't think it would actually use the result in X. Um, don't think anywhere. Uh, is this actually used anywhere? Not that we know of yet. All right. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, what's next? Um, 850F. 850F. It's in here somewhere. There. All right. Um, do we have that in here? What is that? 8D. <coughs> number parsing. Oh, boy. More number parsing? Edit label. Handler. 8D. What is, what is this thing got doing? No. No. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. JSR, that's going to be code. JSR, it's more code. JSR, oh, no. Oh, boy. It's multiplies. Oh, that's a jump. So, where the hell does this go? What? Code jumps into negate. <laughs> 60, that one. RTS. Uh, 60, that's down here, though. Mark as code, damn it. You. String to. Oh, no. Is it? I haven't even looked at the code yet. I was just expanding it. Um, ed yeah, educational so software, mostly, on this. Look at what this uh, fellow says. It's parsing gives a, re a red check and mentions what happens if there aren't any valid digits. Oh, boy. Uh, it's a conditional jump into gate based on the presence or absence of a leading, leading minus sign. Yay. Um, I'm just going to expand. I'm going to assume this is code, too. All right, let's have a look at it. <laughs> what the fuck is this doing? <laughs> um, whew. Uh, load that. The first digit. Is it a minus or is it not a minus? Um, compared to that, those go to the same spot up there. 
Okay. Um. All right. Edit label. Um. Label. Uh. Eight five zero C. Um. Minus digit. Minus char. <coughs> <coughs> Um, I don't say uh, parse string patching that as a 16-bit signed decimal number. All right. So far that checks out because it's got uh, it's got this in here. Um, I don't know what this FF thing is there, but <laughs> matching. No. Uh, not if there were no valid digits, this will return the possibly negated previous value in 30. Uh, what was 30? 30 is the, um, hang on, delete that. Um, argument B, no, A. A, yeah, okay. <clears throat> um, not sure what 50 is doing here. Uh, we're clearing it, though. Uh... So this will increment x if um, it's not a digit at the at, at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, edit label. This guy is going to be eight five five two four. Goes down there. Okay. So that's after handling the minus. Uh, this guy. Who knows? Edit label. Eight five zero eight. Compared to 2D. Wait. Oh, uh, that's n uh, the negative. So this is this. What, what the hell is 2B? Um, 2D is the minus, right? 2D is minus. So is 2B plus? I don't have. Um, uh. Yes, it is. Okay, 2B is plus. Okay. It has positive. <sighs> plus character. And this guy is minus character. Minus character. All right. To be or not to be? Yay, ASCII. <laughs> Man, ASCII. Oh, is that. What? It's fine. I want, the, I want the pretty chart, all right? I wanted the pretty chart, Captain Pie. 50 being used as temporary. Uh, it's zero for positive and F for negative. Yes. Yeah, 50 is used as a as an intermediate for a lot of things, or a, a, a working variable for a lot of these. It looks like <laughs> yeah, on the terminal. Okay, but like, no, I don't care. I don't... <laughs> um. We're loading 10 in B. Oh, boy. Where, where, is, where is this? No. Uh, JSR to whatever the hell this is. Label 8554. Lodex, increment. Compare to 3A. This 3A. Uh, it's not 9. It's past 9. Okay. Um, branch carry set. Greater than or equal to. All right. Uh, back up to somewhere else. At label. Label 8. 5-5-F. Five, five, no, let's go down here. Clear carry turn. That's the end of it. Okay. Um, uh, edit label. Clear carry RTS. Useless Canteen, how you doing? This is not Python. Welcome. Um, this is 6502 assembly. 
Uh, we are currently stepping through a bytecode interpreter in 6502 assembly that runs on the Famicom. Um, technically, uh, from this guy right here. Um, little, what's the tape in it? Uh, it's a tape machine for the Famicom. Um, it's jank as hell. It is jank. <laughs> Epic on. So if C is clear, uh, it's not a valid digit. If C is set, it contains a value of the decimal digit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Did that break on uh, spaces, though, too? Well... I guess that's, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to it. Um, is this wish.com Python called Python? 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 Off? <laughs> uh, uh, it's called from two locations, uh, both in this bytecode handler. What is it called from two, two locations? This guy here? That's a uh, branch tail. <laughs> proper code? I'm proper? Oh my god. I'm honored. <laughs> uh, label 8560. Where does that go? That's just the R RTS. Okay. All right. RTS. <clears throat> um, branch positive. Oh, right, because that's... Sure. Yeah, that's the. Uh, we don't need to negate it. So, oh Jesus. <laughs> um. Well, how the hell does it get here? Wait a minute. Eight, that's how it gets there. Okay. Label eight five four D. So that gets down there. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be. We're gonna label, label it as done. Oh boy. <clears throat> um, sort of, uh, just writing findings, findings in code. I finally started writing stuff th down in Obsidian for research notes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm not an actual developer. I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. It's slightly rotated. What do you mean slightly rotated? Is that 45 degree angles? <laughs> When 99% of software streams are Unity or web, or web dev, this is very proper. Okay, fair. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> um, all right, the hell is this? This is just a validation loop, then? What X compare for a branch carry set? Subtract. Carry. 2 F. What? What the hell's two? What's two F? Okay. Yeah. Um. This guy five four. Where is that? JSR that. Uh. ASCII to binary. ASCII to bin. Um, okay. Quit to himself. Um, yeah, so that's what that does. Uh, branch carry cleared and done. Otherwise, B. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a sixty-four byte bit. Sixty-four bit ASCII to bin, essentially, right? Maybe. 
No, uh, this puts it in. The, oh, I don't know. I suppose. Um, push A. Multiply. Pull. Multiply. Why is it, why multiply? Is this the uh, eight fifty? The clay face is what I'm going through right now, uh, Bridgewater. Oh, how, I scrolled and went away. My bad. Yes, let's push pop then. Yeah, that's what I, what I was looking at just now. I did, yeah. Um. Or cut Python. Cut Parmesan, not Python. Exotic bunch of Python. Um, yeah, so this is that multiply. That uh, 83B0 call, that's uh, the multiply there. Yeah. Multiply by 10, why do you think it multiplies? Um, to get into ASCII. Or no, not to ASCII, to freaking binary. So it grabs grabs a digit. All right, we're going on to the next digit. We'll multiply the previous thing by 10. So now at the at the low the low digit of that, it's 0 now. So now we can start doing the thing for that. It's, it's working one digit at a time. <laughs> oh, oh god, another loop. Label 84. No, 85. Uh, three, five. Loop. Add carry zero. <laughs> how the hell does it break out of here? To the done. That's how. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is going to be... All right. So this is... This is uh, string to... Yeah. Uh, takes string at 700. Um, and converts to an integer. Um, what the hell is the... Uh, Return in. What is, what is that in? Is that in the double word? No. <laughs> Go to consider it harmful. Consider it harmful. Yeah. I knew you can't read by. <laughs> but how do you read Parmesan's Python? I don't know. Okay? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, uh, is it an argument B? Or is it an argument A? Is it put it in both? I can't tell. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. So next we have a divide operation and then one byte code that gets executed by our ace. <laughs> Is that the 6-1? Uh, D zero. Um, eight five six one. Handler D zero. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, down in what? In this? 
This handler? <laughs> Arbitrary code execution. That's what that is. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, RCE being remote code execution. I think. Um, I was just looking for where was her. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, in in this up here, whoop, that's the top of it. Um, the return stuff is down here. Um, this is a uh, just a, a function that's called from up here, up there. Um, yes, yeah, so the return is like basically in here somewhere, or the return values are. Constructed in the, I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know it's in there somewhere. Uh, but anyway, down here, a little bit. Don't need that large. All right, load y uh, two, and then decrement y immediately. Whoa! Why would you load y and then decrement it immediately? It's not even part of the loop. It's outside the loop. What the hell? Looks like everybody, but yeah, I, I have that as a question mark. Result in our game? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? They're brutally stupid when it comes to the stuff. <laughs> brutally, brutally stupid when, when with a lot of this stuff. It's just. I, Unless there's something else that, like, jumps right before that decrement, or... I don't... No, that wouldn't even make any sense. Would it? Okay, well, maybe. That might make sense. If, there, if there's another loop that jumps right there, or another entry point that jumps right there. With Y set to something else, I could maybe see. I don't know. I don't know. No, loop. Loop. 8570. Uh, loop. There isn't the... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> of course not. I, I... I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I know it's not really working, but... <laughs> uh. ROP gadgets? What the hell is an ROP? Um, all right. So... Load Y, 2, decremented by 1. So now we've got Y equals 1. Take A, put it in B. And there's it again. Load Y, decrement it. <clears throat> unused B8 is clearly not unused. That's a word. Only ever stored to. Uh, no, that's that's incorrect now. Word B8. Uh, like that. <laughs> Can't just throw the piece of existing code you abuse. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Got it. Return oriented programming. Yeah. All right. Uh, so taking A, put it in B. Taking whatever the hell this is, putting it in A. Why? And we absolute it. Divide. God, why is divide? Divide the two. What the, what the devil is word? What it, what is this? Where is this stored at? In. The f what? Bank switching and PPU stuff? What? Huh? Set up some. What the hell? Okay. Uh. Uh huh. Uh. Sure. No point in doing that with this system. We can trivially smack stash the interpreter uh, after our code is loaded and it starts running our payload. Yeah. What rat? I don't know what rat hole I just dove down. 
<laughs> so yeah, take an A, put in a B. Sure, okay, fine. Taking some random ass variable, putting that in A. Then we're gonna negate it. Or no, we're gonna get the absolute value of that. Then divide that by whatever was originally in A. And then put it back in A. What? I, uh, weird divide. I'm going to call it weird divide. <laughs> divide arg A by word B8. Uh, A equals absolute B8 divided by A. Yeah. Ah, dump, dump. Um. Divide argument A by um, the absolute of word what did I say it was? B8. Um. <laughs> uh, so when divide goes A equals A divided by B. Is it that? Do I have that backwards? Divide. Uh, divide A by B. Uh, I did that backwards. Uh, yep. I did that backwards. Yeah, yeah. Because we move A to B. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next is byte code B7, which, uh, which is the one we use to do the stack smash. Ooh. Is the study box a stack machine? Uh, could be some sort of um, stack counter shit? Maybe? Hmm. Um, oh, yeah, I, I named this one Weird Divide. Weird divide. What's it do? Who knows? Uh, eight five d four. Eight five. Go. Eight five d four. All right. Um. B seven. Edit label. B seven. This is the one we... Oh, code... Oh, you got some pointers here. <laughs> All right. Could be a frame counter, too. Hmm. We know where the stack pointer is, and BA isn't it. Hmm. Um. All right. So we're loading up... Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, come on! Again? Load Y, decrement by one. Why? It's not like you're loading from a variable somewhere and correcting for an off by one. You're loading an immediate value and correcting an off by one. This has to be from like a macro or something. It's got to be. Because that's so jank. Apparently it's everywhere because there's another one right here. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> Code readability? <laughs> oh, God. I'm... That's plausible, too. That is also plausible. For some asshole that thinks, oh, my code is the comments. And then, no. Go to hell. <sighs> yeah, two iterations. Yeah. But I hate it though. I hate it though. 
All right, so we're loading up two, putting it to one. Code pointer. Load it. Put it in argument A. Oh. Okay. D All right. Clear carry. Load the code pointer. Code pointer. Add two. Think about the code pointer. Okay. And then putting that on the stack. That's why they had to go in other places, apparently, right? Um, no, wait, wait, wait. Look. So argument A is now a pointer. Argument A is now a pointer. So we're having a look at that pointer. We're storing it on the stack. Okay. Uh, let's let's label this uh, a little differently. Um. Okay, it's code pointer. Um. Edit label. This here. And this is just going to be, um, I, I don't know the C syntax for this shit, so I'm, I'm going to do it in this syntax. Arg A, no, um, stack pointer equals arg A. Like that. So putting... So putting the code on the stack. Right? Why not just use arg a here? Or our code pointer. Why, why, why? Why? Load the stack pointer. Add two to the stack pointer return. This is read absolute address. It's dereferencing the pointer, not copying it. Right, so whatever this is pointing to, it puts that in, in A. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's dereferencing whatever it's point. Got it. Got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Um, same thing up here. And a label. So, let me put the notes up here. DRF, um, code pointer data. That's basically just like that, all right? So the code pointer points to code that points to a pointer. Hmm. Next is BA. Uh, does the same thing except it's for a string, not an integer. What do you mean dereferencing de de a string, huh? Code has inline pointer that gets put into argay, then argay is uh, used as a pointer to read some data. Hmm. Yeah.
Uh, another thing is put onto the stack. So B7 is push from memory. Hmm. I don't even know what we use for the stack smash, but we're not there yet. We're getting close. Yeah. Yeah, the first bit was we needed to put something on the stack. Yeah. All right. Uh, next is 8, 6,000. 600. Say 600. That's this guy here. Uh, which is BA. BA. Uh, push the 16 words extra argument group. Uh, I just put the inline operand as a result. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So this is going to be a loop here. Uh, eight. Six oh three loop. It's doing this uh, something similar. There's a pointer um, in the code. Pointer in the code, right? So we're getting that, putting an argument A. Um, we're getting the data at short. Um, code pointer add two. Right, carry clear. Six one six. Where's that going? Okay, that's just a um. Uh, what's it? Um. Overflow check. They're null terminating strings, uh, and they're always copied as the full buffer length. Oh my god. That note in the documentation is from before I realized that the extra groups were strings. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Uh, so is that is that a fixed buffer? Sixteen words. Um. Also, are those double width um, characters? Uh, two byte characters, or is that like, are, are are strings two bytes per character or one byte per character in this? 16 words, 32 bytes. Got it. <clears throat> can't be into. Can't be info leaking by keeping old data. What? <laughs> oh. anyway, I need to hit the bathroom real quick. Um, I'm gonna get some more of this. I'll be. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere.
kitchen smells like vinegar. Uh, they're one by per character, but I was seeing uh, a worldwide stack at that point. So okay, that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, what the fuck is going on? Another. <laughs> that's bullshit again. Um. All right. So we're getting uh, in inline argument essentially. Okay. Yep. Um, putting that in argument A. Uh, uh, loading up code pointer, incrementing it by two, getting it past that argument, right? And then, taking that point, that argument, putting it on the stack, and add 32 to the stack? Level eight six nine. This is a six one nine <laughs> loop. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Um. Yeah. So then this is. Ooh. Um. Whatever R G points to. Puts it on the stack. Pushing a block of 32 bytes to the stack. Ah! Ah! Where'd I go? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, I lost where I was. Uh, hang on. That one. Shit. No. No, this one. Um. Oh, shit, I didn't even see. That's 20, not 2. Oh, my God. Okay. So that's pushing 32 bytes to the stack. How much stack do they uh, allocate for the study box, Lua? <laughs> study box, Lua. I don't know about that. Um, this stack pointer, this, this, uh, God, that's, that's somewhere in, in, um, work RAM, in cartridge RAM. The initial stack pointer set by the script typically just uh, it's just beyond the end of the script or beyond its variables. Yeah, so it's somewhere in in RAM. Um, I think in the f 4K range, I want to say. Don't quote me on that, but no, it's it. I'm staring right at it. It's at 6K, and that is right before the code. All right. Um, pointer to arg a, and then this right here. Um, uh, push thirty thirty two bytes to stack. Pointed to by argument A. Text 20. Is that, is that 32, 32? Am I losing my mind? Okay. I'm, I'm, all right. right. After the code. Yeah. No, you're right. I'm, yep, yep. D is, comes before E. You are correct. <laughs> After the code, which is good since it grows upwards, unlike the hardware stack. Hmm. Well. 
Um, wait, so do we just... We just need a 32 byte, um, not payload, but, um, or something less than 32 bytes of, of code that'll get executed to jump to the, to the, um, the, the, the payload essentially, right? We just tell the engine, hey, load it up from here. That's how we get it onto the stack. We can put arbitrary shit on the stack. Okay. Um, edit label, push to stack. Also, as you put up a tree, it's like just two bytes at a time instead of 32. Mm. Um, Data is pointed to by an inline argument. Um, in the code. There's bounce. There's no bounce check in the stack. Uh, there's no bounce check in the stack. Uh, we can preload the stack pointer to whatever and have our data already in it. No bounce check in the stack. Fantastic. This is just at 32 bytes at a time. This, this right here. So we could just call this a bunch. Hey, here's 32 bytes. Put it on the stack. Okay. Hey, here's 32 more bytes. Put it on the stack. Okay. Hey, here's 32 more bytes. Put it on the stack. Okay. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> What's this one? Push the inline amp right into the, to the stack as a result. You shall push 32 more bytes in the stack. Yep. B8. This is 8-2. No, eight six to C, which is underneath it. Edit label. Handler. B eight. This guy. Taking two bytes from the code, put it on the stack. Increment the stack pointer by two. Increment the code pointer by two. Okay. Um Push forward to stack. Uh, push, push, inline word to stack. That's all that does, right? <laughs> um, eight times later, stack overflow. Uh, don't just don't download random software to use study box and you'll be safe. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> it's not smart to have uh, no stack bound bounce checks, but at the same time, uh, it was supposed to be a closed system. Supposed to be, supposed, to, and then we got our hands on it. It is no longer a closed system. <coughs> we got a crowbar. We're opening it up. Don't worry. <laughs> At that point, your stack is pointing to ROM instead of RAM. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could point the stack pointer to RAM, to ROM, and when it tries to write to it, it changes freaking um, ROM banks. <laughs> no, no, actually, it won't. No, 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 no. The um, no, the control care, the, the 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 cartridge control stuff. That's actually not at hex eight thousand. That's at um, like forty four something. No, 42, 4200 to like 4202 or 3, somewhere around there. 
Yeah. Oh. So yeah, it just it's just a write a read only stack. <laughs> oh. Is that the next one? BB has a null terminated string inline operand. Copy the inline operand to the stack as a 16 word uh, result. So just never null terminate. What happens? What happens if you never null, null terminate? Um, is that a uh, 4D? That's this guy here. Handler, uh, BB. A64D, A64D. This is BB. B8. This guy here. I just did B8. Pushing in on word to the stack. That's all that really does, right? Take something in line, push it to the stack. Two bytes of that, right? Increments the stack pointer by two. Increments the uh, code pointer by two. 864. That's literally this right here. That's, I just started that one. I didn't skip, I just started. <laughs> <laughs> you lost. <laughs> I have it highlighted, 864. Or 4D, rather. 864D, yeah. Maybe my dyslexia. Swap those. If <laughs> I need food, hey, just before that's why I was late to stream. By the way, I, I, I was eating, I was finishing eating. It took a little longer than I. I thought I had food in my apartment to eat. Turns out I did not, so I had to go get some. Oops. I think you just did the previous one so fast, so we missed it. Yeah. Well, this one's a little bit more straightforward than than this other stuff over here. This one's just like, you know. Put two things there, increment this one, increment that one. So. Um, all right, so. Okay, so this one has the increment Y inside the loop, all right? So this one, this one makes a bit more sense for that, the load Y increment, because it's, it's inside the loop. We're not, it's good. It's good, it's fine, it's fine. So starting at zero. Yeah. Okay. Um, null terminated. Um, but only a page. You can only do a page with this because it does not increment the, either of those two pointers. <laughs> All right. Um, Yeah, you get in for loop and set. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So then uh, we're taking y incremented by one and putting that into argument a. Argument a is the length then of that sh that string that was pushed. Okay. Um, clear carry. Load a. Or we're getting past it. All right. Or we're, we're jumping the code pointer past what we just copied in. Clear carry. But we're only incrementing the stack pointer by 32. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Copy, copy 200 bytes. Into the stack. Add 32 to the pointer of stack. My space bytes. Space bytes. <laughs> Mental <laughs> frames. They be, they be dropping. Um, increment stack, uh, the stack by 20 always, so that's your limit. Is it though? We just load more than 32 in the stack, and now we've got something else there. 
Also note, copy two bytes into the stack, increment the pointer by 32. Where do you see the two bytes in the stack? Two bytes in the stack? No, this is copy an arbitrary number of bytes into the stack that's null terminated up to 256. Um, and if you... Huh. Well, up to 255, I guess. Otherwise, you're never breaking out of that loop. Um, well, no. If you have 255 or 200... If two, if if your 256 byte is is a zero, it'll break out of that loop. Why would be two five five? You know, increment Y one stores zero into A. Not increment the code pointer, but add to the stack. I don't know what you know that. Sure, it's an arbitrary number uh, that's set to two. The following 30 bytes aren't cleared to anything. Where are you seeing the two? I'm seeing 20 and FF. Where are you seeing, where are you seeing two? You could write more data into the stack area, but it wouldn't be actually in the stack. Hmm. Th the following 30 bytes aren't clear to anything. Mm. As far as I dump strings in a stack like that, <sighs> one byte of data, a one null terminator. That's two. Fair. Okay. No. Yeah. Because it does store the null. as well having uh, an empty zero terminated string. Mm. That, would set, uh, that would set one, but to zero, the remaining third one are cleared. Mm. My point is that the unused space uh, and the string buffer on the stack isn't cleared. Mm. So now that, that now that stuff on the stack that was popped off somewhere else, probably, is still there. Because we just, yep, we're gonna we're gonna include that in the stack. Oh, so really, the stack pointer should also have been uh, incremented by the argument. Argument A. Right, that's what they should have done instead of instead of using an arbitrary number here. Just use whatever you used. Uh, whatever you're incrementing the code pointer by. Why do they do it like this? What the hell? They can't uh, pop a string since they don't know its length. I mean... We haven't gotten to the pop code yet. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Um, <clears throat> I can only push the length of the string into the. I can only push the length of the string, the stack, and then the stack pointer points to the tap to the null. How do you pop that string? I mean, if you've got the length uh, of the string on the stack, you'd pop that and then pop that length. Otherwise, 
for a pop, you just read up to a null. You keep popping until you hit a null. Um, I mean, you only push the string itself up to the null. Yeah, it pushes the null as well. Load it, whatever loaded, store it. If that was zero, we're done. Uh, but the null is the last thing you pushed, so it's the first thing you pop. Good point, actually. Yeah, never mind. I'm thinking of it the other direction. So that should be the, the first thing it pushes. <laughs> so that's why it does an arbitrary number. Hey, we've got a string on the stack. Grab the last 32 bytes. Then start from the beginning of that and find the end of the string. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, Jesus. They said that the strings are up to 31 bytes long, so that's e able to push pop them uh, reliably. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I hate that. It's disgusting. Yeah, so what they should have done then is push this argument to the stack as well. Argument A, which is the length, put that in the stack, and then increment the stack by that number. Essentially. All right, next one, B9. I think we already did this one. Maybe not. Edit label. Handler B9. JSR over here. What is over here? Put an argument B. So it's an inline argument. Okay. No. Damn. Damn. Come on. Um. We're taking something off of the stack and putting it in A. Okay. So this is a pop. I found this IPA from four years ago. <laughs> So I should push, push zero first, then the string, but that's unnecessarily, but that's increased complexity when popping. Mm. What about it is this code is certainly simpler than the dynamic length code uh, would be, and might even be, it might even run faster, mm, possibly. Um. Okay, so th uh, this guy here, we need to label this real quick. Six, no, we, no, well, eh. Label eight, no, eight, 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 seven, six, F. All right, what are we doing here? So, inline, um, inline B. And then we're talking B. Um, increment by two. I'll subtract uh, two from the stack and take whatever that was and put it into A. No. Store it there. Yes. Okay, so edit label. Um, pop, poop, pop, word into arg A. Okay, and then we're gonna branch plus over here, nine three. Oh, that's that. Okay, so we're, we're done. okay. Then we're gonna 
sh shift it left. Rotate it onto that. Multiply by two. Clear carry. What the hell? And add the two. Huh? What the hell's going on here? A equals stack times two plus inline. That's what it, that's what it's looking like. Yeah. Label down there. Yeah. R A equals um, stack times two. And plus in line. What would the name of that be? A shift? That's just a shift onto, isn't it? Shift stack to our guy. Kind of. Read word indexed? Huh? Read word index? What do you mean read word indexed? I'm gonna see where we came from again. Oh god. Alright. Um sorry at this point. Uh, so then we're loading up whatever the hell that was. Um, and storing that on the stack. That address? On the stack? That's only two bytes. That's a word. Is this like, is this dereferencing something and pushing that to the stack? Is that what that is? God. Yeah, I'm on by code handler, yeah. So says argument to the inline word, which may or may not be actually used. Doesn't look like it is. It's an index dereference. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just gonna not comment the rest of that one because that one's confusing the shit out of me. Honestly, I'll I'll come back to it maybe. Um, I might come back to it. All right, BC. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's good. On the stack as a result. Yeah. Um, more inline opera. Oh, Jesus. God. Not control F, control G. Eight, six, eight, nine. Oh, good. This code. Mark this code. The hell's this? Oh, Jesus. Mark has more code. What? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus.
in next to offset the times two and then add the another offset on top of that. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna <laughs> uh, go back to wherever that was. This guy. Oh, this this is a this is a handler. All right, a label. Handler, BC. Something indexing into a table of words. Yeah, everything's word based on this. It looks like this guy is gonna be label eight seven 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 AD. All right, what is the fuck is this doing? This is a loop. Label eight seven B zero. All right, wait, uh, I tried to add loop. They have that loop louette. Uh, this one is just that right there. I'll mark that anyway. Eight seven C three. Eight seven C E. The loop two eight uh, eight seven D one loop. Cause that deck load and decrement immediately. I hate that so much, so much. Second offset is the base address of the table you are indexing into. Hmm, something like that. Yeah. No. Um, an argument B. Okay, so we're inline argument. Increment the code, increment the stack. So we track the stack, excuse me. So we can pop from the stack. A is on. Okay. Um, edit label. Inline arg into. Arg B, and this guy is gonna be stack word to or uh, home pop word into Arg A. How would you uh, put that on its own line? Uh, kindly. Um. What the devil is this? So one, two, three, four, five shifts. Five. Why five? Clear the carry. Then add B. Uh, multiply by ten? No. That's not 10. What is this? 32? Java, am I saying that right? Welcome. That's why. Uh, that's why trying to find out if there are any shrooms coding in C sharp. Probably. I'm trying to learn that now, and uh, I see a C in the tags. Can't tell what kind of C this is. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I need to update my tags. Um, this isn't C. This is assembly. I apologize. Um, <laughs> this is a little lower level than 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 C or C sharp or any of the C languages. Um, yeah. You gotta get an index DRF, but now into a string table. No! A table of strings? 
That's why it would be by 32, because all the string buffers are 32! Why? What were they smoking? My god! You have a good day. Uh, thank you for stopping by, uh, briefly. <laughs> but appreciate it. Um, god, this is so terrible. All right. Uh, edit label. Index DREF string table. What was that other one? Uh, not this one, but uh, the one that called that. I'm not gonna be able to find it now. Um. Uh. Edit label. Okay, so, um. Uh, so the base is on the stack. Um, B is the offset. Yeah. Um. Base adder is on stack. Offset is in line. <sighs> in line is base address of the table. In line is base of the table? You sure about that? Because we're shifting A a bunch. Wouldn't A be base of the table? And then this is just the offset for B? figure out the next one it has some fun implications oh boy <laughs> yeah because the base would be 32 byte aligned 32 bit aligned Th no fucking yeah 32 byte aligned inline goes to b b is added as is so that's the base address well a is multiplied by 32 so it's the index offset into the table I mean, okay. I'm not mapping that out of my head right now, but like, sure. Is in line. I'll take your word for it. Offset is on stack. Um. Sure. Anyway, so we dereferenced that. We dereferenced it. So now arg A has the pointer in it. Load that up. Sto oh, Jesus. And then we take the 32 bytes and put it on the stack. Jesus. <sighs> yeah. Um. Push string to stack. That's what that is, right? Push. Uh, it's, uh, indexed. God. String from table to stack. From table. Uh, it's making my head hurt. Um. Ah! Ah! 
Ah, okay. Ah, Strength for the other side. Yeah. So I <laughs> edit label. Um, push a string. Uh, from table. Uh, add her in line to the stack. Add her in line off the stack. So disgusting. I need it, uh, need it for something, but at the moment I'm not sure what that something would be. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We're only 22 opcodes in. There are 118 opcodes. I'm going to assume uh, the 119th one, FF. I'm going to assume that's not really an opcode uh, because that is the IRQ, ha no, uh, IRQ handler. Is that what that is? I don't know. So that's not, that, that, the end column is FF, right? Past the handler, even. <laughs> well, so that'd be the high bite of the handler, and whatever is in the very start of RAM. Um, is EE -E anything? Yeah, loading a word from, from, uh, FFFF will get the second byte from 0000, zero, zero, zero yes. Which will be the high byte. It's almost appalling how many ways there are to break this code. Yeah. So basically, so you have... The page you put you 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 put some code at a page right, put that page in zero zero somehow get it to zero zero. And without clobbering zero zero, you call this byte code. Byte code one nineteen whatever the hell that is. E E is increment absolute. Okay. Just three bytes. So you need the fourth byte, the three bytes after the from the fourth, to be like a jump, and that's all in RAM. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. All right. <laughs> so increment some random shit, and then somehow get a jump in the rest of. This point, those pointers there. So, uh, yeah, the the beginning of RAM is is just pointers, I think. So it's a it's a handful of pointers. Uh. All right. Yeah, pointer zero, pointer two, word four. Okay, this is a word. Um. So yeah, these two right here will be the, the tail end of that arg of the the opcode from the the end of the bank, uh, the end of the memory space. Then you need to set pointer two and at least the low bite of the word to a jump to jump somewhere as i keep saying we are not spoiled for options when it comes i can't explain the system <laughs> oh man um jesus so yeah you would just need to like set up something here Make that. Who cares what this is? As long as it doesn't interfere with your own code, 
right? I mean, sure, it, you could probably set it to something, right? Set it to Fs, so it tries to increment the, uh, a bite that it can't touch, a read-only bite. Um, and then you jump somewhere, arbitrary. And then once you jump somewhere, you just fucking clear out everything you need to clear out and do your thing. Set it to something you want to increment anyway, <laughs> right? Anyway, where were we? Where the hell were we? That one. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the next one? A2. 86A2. E9. 86A2. It's fucking... Load A decrement. Stop it! God! E9. Inline argument, okay. Wait, what, what? Oh, God, I scrolled and it went away. There. Inline argument here. I want to see you figure out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh Jesus! What the hell? This is a big one. All right. Okay. So, inline arg. Let, let's. Uh, arg, where is this going to? Arg A. Been current past it. Okay. Load up argument A. Okay, that's an absolute table. So A is a table somewhere. And then we put that on the stack. That only a word though, okay. Increment <laughs> the stack. <clears throat> kind of interesting, uh, but I'm going to try to figure out. Uh, the trigger feedback. Only on the field level, this one's sound. Got a little speaker in it. Or does something really, uh, not feeling at the moment. Mmm. Make the motor buzz. Uh, alright. Uh, add it to the stack. Okay. Code pointer. Put that on the stack as well. This is address in like a length? Is that what that is? Can you hear the trigger feedback uh, mode move? Yeah, yeah. So, so far, inline to stack just via A. You can't, so inline points to something. Inline is pointing to a table somewhere. Um, well, not even a table. It's pointing to a value somewhere. Um, a word value somewhere. And it puts that on the stack. And then it takes whatever is after that pointer, inline, the inline pointer, to, and it's putting that on the stack. Coming from A itself. Wait. You're right. What the fuck? Huh? Why would it do that? Because that's not... Yeah, that's not dereferencing anything. I'm assuming it's using A later, uh, again later. No, there's an RTS at the bottom, no, no more A. And then it's taking the code 
what is it? Okay, so whatever at was after our argument that we got, we're putting that on the stack as well. No, wait, no, 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 that's the code pointer. It's pushing the, the pointer to the stack. This is a jump or JSR. We're getting something to, we're going to jump to here, return to here. That's what that is. <laughs> okay. Uh. Right, let's, let's, uh, call. We'll use uh, call. Yeah. Um. That's gonna be uh, so address. Uh, address is in line, but it doesn't actually, hang on, it doesn't, it doesn't go there, it doesn't, close, but it's not a call operation, no, it's, because it, it's, it's not a call because it's not actually executing that, it's not jumping there. It's just like saving this stuff. It's setting up for a call? I guess? But why wouldn't you have that in the same? In the same call? Yeah, so it's not really a call. I don't know what that is. Save state? Inline the word to stack uh, code pointer to stack. Set it for a loop, maybe? Oh, God. Would it be? Where the inline word is like uh, the, the loop count? No. No! No. What do you mean? No. No! God damn. Like a repeat? Repeat X times. Go! Is that... Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna call this one... Set up loop. Set up loop. That's what... Sure. Uh-huh. We're setting up a loop. I guess. There's going to be another one that's going to be, like, branch to the loop start or something like that. Isn't there? Isn't there? Isn't there? This isn't the worst I've seen <laughs> like this. Imagine seeing it as a function call in 6502 code. Is this okay? So I, it's not it's not called to anywhere yet, or from anywhere yet. We do have some stuff that's not disassembled yet, but this is disgusting. This is disgusting. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Eight six six e five handler four b d. What are we doing here? No more inline. Okay, yep. Uh, take something off the stack and store that. Okay, store the stack at argument. B d is the bytecode that we use for the ace. 
Okay. <laughs> Chat, hello. <laughs> JSR set up loop bite. Like four? Maybe. I don't know. Um, Alright, so. This here again, edit label. Okay, that's uh, loop. And that loop is inline to arg a. That's what that is. Uh, um, increment the code pointer. Take something off the stack. Um, let's just say that you can always... Uh, they can always be worse and leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, so then we're pulling off the stack, putting it in our, uh, into argument A. Then RTS. This is the one that we use for the for the ace. This one. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Take an arbitrary address in line. Store at that arbitrary address. Good God. Um. <laughs> From the stack. Yes, take whatever's in the stack and store it. Oh, God. This is messing, too. Edit, pop, and store. Um, destination is inline word, word, um, pops. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, destination is inline. The same typo. Word. Writes. Word from stack. To destination. This one we use for the ace, right? Uh, we use the address that held the top entry of the stack. The return address from the handler. RTS. So we just pointed it to an RTS? Is that what we did? No. We range uh, range for that RTS to return to our payload. Oh, duh. Yeah. Okay. Right, because we have an, an arbitrary address we can write to. So we do we write a word to. So we write a word to the hardware stack, not the bytecode stack. The different, the other stack, the hardware stack. So we return to wherever the hell we want. Oh my god. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so I was close before. I was, I was, yeah. That's just... Wow, yeah. I under, I understand why it was so dead simple before. Because it's just a few bytes. Wasn't it like... Like what, five bytes or something like that? So you need the op code to get into here, right? So you need, you need BD. Then you need the destination, which would be the hardware stack at this point, right? Um, uh, 
And then... Well, no, you would need something in the stack first. So you need to push a word to the stack. Um, so that's three bytes. Uh, byte code the word. Um, and then three more bytes, so six bytes total then. This, are, th this byte code, the word, and that's it. And you'd end up returning to wherever you pushed before. Our header was 0760BD, F E, uh, uh, two, four, six, seven, seven. Okay, so I'll, I was off by one. 0760BD, <clears throat> uh, 07, that's the, did I, I don't think I, I got to that one yet. 07. Three arguments, no results. Three arguments, really? Oh, that's not bytecode. Uh -huh. What? Primary control, primary control, primary control, primary control, control, control. Because the instruction pointer starts at 6002. Hmm. Put the seven in. Seven's this guy over here, right? Seven would be this guy. No, that's not that guy. That's I sorted that. God damn it. Hmm. But yeah, so I, I can see how this worked now. I can see how that worked. Um, A65. Is this another one? 8A. Seven Eleven. Edit label. Eight A. Um. Do you just modify the program or the debugger? No. Um. I am. Uh, I'm stepping through stuff, and I'm. Li I'm marking stuff as. Um. As code or data, and I'm adding. Labels and I'm adding um, comments. That's what that is. I'm not. I'm not actually modifying the binary. Just some metadata labels, comments. Oh, we're just assembling and analyzing. Uh, not making a new program. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. So what does this one do? More inline. Okay. That's cool. Edit label. Loop uh, eight seven one four. Loop uh, inline to. Arg A. A lot of those. <laughs> Wait. Then we get something off the stack. Bytes, uh, string in the stack, putting it at A. So we're popping a string. That's, that's what this is. Edit label. Yeah. Um, thought he modified it on the fly in memory. Uh, to help with analysis. I mean, I could, but that's not what we're doing here. Um, actually, I don't know if I could with this uh, because um, this is technically the firmware of this particular... ROM, um, so the ROM I'm 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 walking through the code I'm wa I'm stepping through, um, it's for this guy here. It's actually embedded on uh, in this thing. This is the cartridge. It fits into the top of the Famicom right there. Uh, and what we're stepping through is an interpreter for a language that is stored 
on tape. So the cartridge executes code that's on here to do things. And it's, it's jank as hell. Jank as hell. Um... But yeah, no, this is uh, this is yeah, this is taken from the stack and putting it on into somewhere arbitrary. Um, destination is in line. Um, yeah, it pops thirty-two bytes from stack, stark stack, and writes to destination. Um, which version of the Family Drive? Do I, the Family Drive? Family Ever Drive. Family Ever Drive. Uh, oh. I don't think I had. Uh, is that a board version? Do I have to open this up to find it? Oh, I see something there. Hang on. Model, and then it's blurred out. God damn it. I have to open up to figure it out. Or no, I don't. Hang on. Uh, uh, Give me a sec. I might need another board version, but the product name might be enough. Pseudo, Ed Link N8. Um, that's just gonna be gonna be it, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, so the Ed Link version zero. That, that's not what I want. Does this not give me the um the version of the uh of the board? Is that um on the EverDrive? Hang on, let me plug this in real quick. N8, yes, it's N8. EverDrive, N8 Pro. That one. Can I get, um, this one? Oh, there's nothing there, okay. How do I get status off, the, off this stuff? Uh, is it select? Device info. N8 Pro FC, OS version 2.11, OS date 2020. Device ID 17, cart date 2021, OS build from 2020, OS version 2.11. Isn't the N8 just for, no, 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 it's, it's printed on, on the front of this thing. EverDrive N8. The um, the .NET 8, I did that. I, I converted it to .NET 8. That's what I did. Um, yeah. Power source, USB, and system. Look at that. Diagnostics. Mass. Graphics glitches will be shown during the test. This is normal. Press any key to begin. <laughs> Woo. 
I mean, this is what it did, uh... I think on the, on the, on the command line? PPU VRAM bug not detected. Ooh. There we go. Battery's okay. VCC is okay. Fantastic. So what you uh, so what you want that for? <laughs> oh, we might be able to get this working with the titler. Oh, fantastic! Do you know what was wrong? Do you know why it didn't work with the titler? <laughs> Do I just need like a, a firmware upgrade on it? <laughs> also, is the um is the OS ROM uh is that open source somewhere? My best guess is the controller reading code in the firmware. Yeah, I remember, I remember it being wonky if I had uh, some stuff plugged in to the expansion port. Remember when we were doing the um, uh, the, the family trainer, the dance pad thing? I had to like hold down a button for for it to work, for for, for, the, for the menu to work. Remember that? <laughs> hmm. It, it was it was real jank with that I think, so we had I, I had to hold down a button on 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 the pad in order for me to actually be able to select anything. No. Oh. Ah. Oh. I reverse engineered some of the crits from R before, so this might be more the same. Ah. So reverse engineer that means that means it wasn't uh, it wasn't open sourced then was it? That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> um. All right, go back to this one. Uh, and then back to this guy. Um, eight, seven, eleven. Uh, that's this guy here. God, that's disgusting right there. All right, so next one. In more in line. All right. Eight seven three D. Handler B E. Shift stack to more of that crap. Okay. Load the stack pointer. Add to, to subtract to. Getting some stuff from the stack and then storing it at an arbitrary spot, essentially. Okay. Um. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, into a table, essentially, right? So. God, yeah, so we got the, the... Into a word table. Yeah, so write to word table? Is that what this is? Um... Base address inline offset in stack. Or something. Um. I don't know, right? Questions there. Question marks. I don't know if those are backwards or not. But yeah, okay, that's just. So the parent are given on, on the stack, given low on the stack for the array element, under for the outer space given in line. Base in line, okay, and next given on the stack. So 
weird nonsense there. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, what's this one? Uh, two line arguments, a one argument stack, store second stack argument uh, into the table at the end line argument. It index you on that first stack argument. Or something like that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sports. Cool. Yeah. Um, sorry. Five, six. Two stack and one in line, right. Oh, there we go, right there. Uh, this is Mark as code. Mark, oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Index DREF. Index into a string table. Oh, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> this is the same as above, only instead of a word, um, writes a string. Writes 32 bytes. One of which is, is a string. Yeah. Yep. It's a string table. Edit label. Handler EA. Write to string table. Uh, let's actually. I don't know. We'll take out these question marks. Edit. Base address inline. Offset in stack. Um. Writes 32 bytes from stack. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. 96. 7 FB. Four ninety six. This is fucking everywhere, and I hate it. Random ass pointer. Okay. Four E. Oh, that's a uh, loop. Whoops. Uh huh. Fine occurrences. <laughs> what, is what is this? What is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just gonna. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna rename that to Word. Yeah. Technically, it's indexed in the stack, but since it's turned into a byte offset internally. Um, I this is disgusting. Um, yes, yeah, so this is this is word for e, word for e. <laughs> Just okay. Um, handler set word for e. Set word for e to inline word argument. This is one of the other angles I uh, considered in our in our A's. Oh, really? Is for e used somewhere else as well? Other than all this nonsense. <laughs> that one. Oh boy. Um, 881E. JSR equals zero. Go to hell. 
Handler. Eight, uh, no, Handler uh, BF. Okay. Branch not equal. Branch not equal. You wouldn't need to check both of them. Because equals zero either returns one or zero. And that's always going to be in the low byte. You only need to, need to check one byte. Why are you checking both of them? Why? Why? You don't need to check both of them if your JS already equals zero. It Only the low byte's going to be different. They're cool. Let's store through and call through. Oh, okay. Because they can. I do. There's a label here, though. Why is there a label here? Is that jump to from somewhere? Why? We're going to get rid of that label. It is. Where the hell is it jump to from? What? Whatever, whatever, it's fine, whatever. You know the argument for them using macros or whatever. Yeah, here is a 60 minute compare, even though they don't need it. Yeah. Um. All right. So we're loading up two things. Inline argument, okay. Inline to arg a. Inline to arg a. Um, what? That's a jump. This is a jump. They can't jump to zero. That's what that is. Gnu is Gnu. How you doing? It's a jump. Yep. Okay. Oh. Uh, edit label. Jump. It's not jumping to the same thing that's uh, being checked for zero. You're right. Why? What the fu Huh? Conditional jump. It's a conditional jump. Not zero. Additional absolute jump. Oh. I'm looking at the right one, right? One eight. One argument, no results. Has a 16 bit inline operand. Right, that's the inline there. The argument uh, is non zero. Um, sets the instruction pointer to the operand. Conditional absolute jump. 
This is what Van Halen was thinking about. Sure. What am I stuck right now? I'm not really stuck. Oh, hey, don't grab X. Welcome. I'm I'm going through labeling things, labeling out the um, the different function handlers, the bytecode handler, handlers. Um, figuring out what they do. Uh, yeah. Beanie's after the call to equals zero, so it's not checking RA itself. I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, of what? Study box. Yes, study box code. Uh, we're going through the uh, the interpreter that's on on the study box. Uh, so you, these are all the handlers for the bytecode that's on the tape. Yeah, it's so jank. Like this pattern right here. This load y, um, immediate value of two, decrement y, is everywhere. Anytime we're grabbing an argument from an inline argument, every time we're we're updating the stack pointer or or, or something like that, every time load two decrement by one, every goddamn time, and it it hurts. It hurts so much. See, here's another one right here. Okay, two code pointer. So if RG was zero, and it's not zero at the point you're checking for it. Yeah, it just inverts it because shut up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, hang on. So, yeah, equals zero. Th this returns one if zero. Hang on. So we've got one. Yeah, so if it... If zero. Jump if not zero. Yeah, yeah. God damn, the negation on this shit. Ugh. Is there where that, uh, that isn't load Y20? Yeah! <laughs> Is there where that isn't load Y32 decrement? It's one or the other. One, one or the other. Fucking bastards. Yeah. It <sighs> <laughs> C0. Alright. Uh, go to 8821. How dare you? How dare you? That. <sighs> That's the label I deleted. So this one is jump if zero. That's why they've got the the JSR to equal zero to negate it. Ah. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Twenty nine. That's only a few bytes lower. That's here. That's just jump. Eighty four. This one's just jump. Not eight one eight four. I'm gonna copy paste this everywhere though. 
Copy. So when I hover over things, it'll it'll be there. If that's called anywhere else. Uh. Oh, it's a lot of fun. How you doing, Stripe? Stipe. Steep? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, it's fun, all right. It's chaos, this code. This code is is chaos. Oh, my God. It's so jank. 41. Steep. Step. No. <laughs> Sorry. I can barely read. Give me a break. Um. Handler. 85. Fun for certain. Very edge case definitions of fun. <laughs> Load the code pointer and put it in A. Why? Why are you doing that? The outlier of amusement, right? No. Oh, no. Take the code pointer, put it on the stack. Oh, boy. Oh, God. This is the call. Or, uh, yeah, this is this is a call. All right. Okay. Right? Hey, okay, so we got code pointer, putting that in A. And we're incrementing the code pointer. And then this. Add a label. Uh, loop. This is code pointer to stack. Push and return address. And then we are jumping to wherever the hell we just want. Oh, God. Yup. Uh, this one is... Yeah, this is code pointer. Oh. Oops. Edit. Well, hang on, wait, wait, um, let me, let me back a little bit, hang on. So we're storing the, the, the code pointer in A. Wait, what? Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa hang on. The pointer in A, okay, increment the code pointer. Right. This is preparing for a call. So A is where we came from. Increment the code pointer. Right? Put the next pointer in the stack. And then take A and put it back in the in the pointer. I missed it in direction. Hey, what the fuck is going on here? Hang on. Just doing the in direction later. Code address is an A. Down here, take the next code address, after we incremented it, put that in the stack. That's that. Then,
read whatever is at that address and put it into the code pointer. That. An indirect into A letter, yeah. So this is a, a call then. This is where we're going. This is our return. This is the jump. Right? Maybe? Maybe. I'm going to call. Um, sure. Uh, let's get that on two lines. Return address to stack, then inline word to, to code pointer, which is a jump. Combined, that's a call. Yes. I don't want to have a complete uh, dual system control support, but on the other side, I'm having to test GUI in my engine to try things would be extremely helpful. Whatever, do. Stop with the input system, which is already good, good enough for not. And continue later on. Yeah, let's push it off to later. Yeah. You know, that's that's pro that's a problem for, for future you. <laughs> All right. So we got call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolute subroutine call. Fantastic. Uh, 887A. 7A. What is this guy? Edit label. Handler. 86. Grab something off the stack. Jump to whatever's on stack. Oh, God. Pop and jump. Jump to whatever is on stack. Let's return then. Wait. Return. <laughs> oh, look at you with your fancy documentation. Fancy schmancy. Is that all on that? Um, uh, you said the name of it before. That software. Obsidian. That's it. Thank you. Nothing under the cursor. Yeah, because I was in the wrong window. C1. Not that one. So, 9-1. Oh, How dare you? There it is. All right. Edit label. Handler. Isn't Pop J14 on the TX? <laughs> that was a bit of a thing. Pop J14. Four, pops 14 bytes. Huh? What? Handler, C1. All right. Load Y1 decrement. Stop it. Get some help. Um. Uh. Wait. What? No. No! Load Y1, decrement 1. In a loop, read a thing, write a thing, decrement Y. Branch if we are above zero. This shouldn't be a loop. 
This shouldn't be a loop. This should be load Y zero, load A store A. Nothing else. Why complicate it this much? This has to be a macro. This has to be a macro. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. No one would have handwritten this. This is 100% a macro. Where you've got, like, as input, you've got the, the number of bytes to copy, the source and destination. That's got to be what it is. It's got to be. And like maybe like a arguments of whether or not A and B are pointers or whatever. Jesus. I hate that so much. Increment the code pointer by one. Like they don't increment it by... Oh, jeez. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, they're not using an add carry here. They're using an increment. So, like, this right here is the macro. Because if this was in the macro, it would be adding one. So th this isn't even... In oh. <laughs> Maybe this is a different macro. Maybe this is an increment macro right here. Another increment macro. Or no. What is this? Hang on. Add a label. Uh, label. 88BE. Where's that going? Who knows? Down here. Oh, Jesus. Label. 88AC. That's not my increment. Or add carry. Yeah, it's an overflow check. Load 88 me B. Another one of them. Load 88 C B. Alright, now, what the hell is this doing? So we're loading a byte and putting in argument B. <laughs> Not loop. <laughs> Inline byte to arg b. Then we're taking arg a, branch equaling somewhere else, compare it to b, so if it's equal or greater than b, Greater than or equal to B, we're going on here. T or equal. <laughs> Maybe it's cycle accurate. No, it's not cycle accurate. Are you kidding? This thing is so jank through and through. Like, the code's jank. The animations are jank as hell. Um... The, some of the voice acting is jank. Oh, my God. <laughs> I remember one of the... Um, God, uh, this, was, this was a while ago. I think it was back when I was at my other apartment. Um, we were playing through one of them, and the character is young, right? Like, I think the, the character... Like, their lines were something like, oh, I'm 12 or something like that, right? Or 13 or something like that. But the voice was this, like, raspy old woman. And we're like, no, you're lying. The pumpkin town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a leave because uh, this defies, defines the like, cycles it should be spending uh, being the, uh, the original. Uh, maybe the kid is a chain smoker. I, I mean, I, I won't rule that out, I guess. I guess I won't rule that out. <laughs> hmm. I just remember being so surprised when I first heard that. <laughs> like, what? No, that's wrong. What? <laughs> so jank. Um, 
I almost said F11. I'm not stepping through any of this. I'm, I'm just reading different code. Yeah, where, where even is the... Uh... Oh, yeah, we're still <laughs> we're still right there. Yeah. Uh, am I going to write a compiler for this? Uh, eventually, yes. I do want to be able to write this but this a, a language and then compile it into this bytecode and have it like run as intended on the thing. Right? The Yakuza girl. Yeah, right. Um... There are uh, actually kids that are change makers. Yes, I've seen some of that stuff. Yeah, not in person, but <laughs> as Nintendo did. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> um. But yeah, so I do want to to be able to write like proper tapes, right? Um. Eventually, uh, but this is basically just a ROM cart that uses tapes instead of an SD card. That's basically what this thing is. Um, and I find that hilarious and beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I could, that's probably something I'll try to do is, all right, you got a, you got a ROM cart tape, a ROM tape, right? If you put it in, right? The first page that loads, loads up the ace, right? And drops you into a menu or something. You're like, all right, here's the things that are on this tape. Pick one. So you pick one and it and it jumps to that page, right? Uses the, the, the code that's already on the on the on on the cartridge to jump to that page. And that'll also have an ace in it or whatever as the header. And <laughs> Oh god. I mean, it would only, it'd only support, like, one mapper. This one. Um, but it'd work. It'd be hilarious, but it'd work. <laughs> you really reverse and code the tape with COBOL. God. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, but, yeah, the possibilities are endless. Endless. I tried to uh, code a tape with fourth. It almost worked. I, don't, I, I, I probably saw that code around somewhere. Um, uh. But yeah, there's there's so much like wrapping that needs to happen. So like, okay, so you got you've got your payload, right? Some ROM that you have. Say it's N ROM something or other, right? To be simple, right? You got your payload. It's it's compiled 65 of two. Uh, assembly bytecode, right? Um, uh, intended to be run directly by the, by the by the processor. All right. So to get that running, you need to first take that and wrap it in the data packet format of the tape. Or rather, before that, you need you need the payload, right? So the payload, the the payload, or the the the, the ACE and the payload. So you need that. And you take that and you and you wrap it in the pa in the packet format for the tape. The, the page format or whatever, right? Then you take that and you convert it to the audio signal <laughs> on the tape, right? And then you take that audio, uh, the, 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 the audio data and you record that to a tape. So many steps. <laughs> endless, as long as you have endless tape. It's rewritable tape, it's fine. But honestly, I, I'm not sure that the um, that this drive likes the longer tapes. So these tapes are about a half an hour long, right? Um, they've only got enough tape for about a half an hour. The tapes that I have, these guys are 90 minute. These are three times longer. Um, I think it has trouble reading these, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, I think it has a lot of trouble reading these. Yeah. I might have to open one of these up and, like, cut the tape in half. Hello. Uh, Ian Douglas. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How was stream? Stay the strongest Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. <laughs> hello, hello. 
Welcome, welcome. We are we are di we are picking apart some disgusting code, but welcome. Tech Jeeper, hello. Um, Ram Online, hello, hello. Might be the tape media itself. The originals are type one. Your versions are type two or four. I got type one. Is this a normal type one? It says right on the front of it. Thank you for the uh, the follows. Appreciate that. Um, got a raid running. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. You have a good night. So uh, yeah. So for everyone just just joining, uh, so what's on screen here is uh, the debugger for an emulator, uh, the Messen emulator. This is all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not showing anything right now because of course not. <sighs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That's what it's supposed to be showing, or on the right-hand side. That's what it's supposed to be showing. Um, that. <laughs> you see nothing. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is for this device here. This is a study box. Um, it is technically a cartridge, cart cartridge, cartridge for the Famicom. Uh, you plug it at the top, and you uh, stick a tape in it. Um Unlike, uh, unlike the data recorder stuff, which came with the um, the Family Basic or was used with the Family Basic, uh, this is stereo. So Family Basic stuff, or your Commodore data tapes, or what have you, those were all mono, right? They just had data on them, right? This has data in the right channel and recorded audio in the left channel. And in the data um, are, God, it's a domain-specific language. It's a DSL uh, that is interpreted on this guy. It's stack-based. Um, it uses 32-byte strings that it passes everywhere because, oh, God. Um, they're terrible. It's t it's horrid, and we are we are going through the bytecode interpreter and figuring out what different b uh, bits of bytecode does. Now, similar to Teddy uh, Ruxpin tapes, I've never heard of that. That they have data on one channel and audio on the other. Hmm. But uh, but yeah. So the the the, the tapes that I have um, that I'm working through the, in the physical tapes that I have are all uh, English language tapes, right? Which is kind of why. Um, They've got the uh, the recorded audio, right? So English, right? Because the the Famicom, uh, it doesn't have like CD quality audio or whatever, right? Um, it's got four or five channels if you try um, of like waves that you'd change, like some square waves, some some triangles, and a noise, and making making. Audible speech from that is next to impossible. Um, there is a little, uh, you could do like some PCM audio, but that is incredibly resource intensive to do. Um, so the the approach for this one was let's just re let's just record some audio to tape and let's put some data on there too. So that's what this is. Oop, oop, come on, get in there. There it goes. And it's amazing. It's just, it's amazing. Let me, uh, let, me, let me pause this, and I'll pause that. And then I can just hit play on this. Oh! <gasps> I jumped to one! All right! I didn't think those were, those were ever jumped to. Oh, my God! That's why I had the breakpoints there. Um, all right, well, I don't care. It's fine. Oh, God. I've got other breakpoints set up. Ah! Hang on. I need to turn off these breakpoints real quick so it'll actually do something. There it goes. Okay. We're going to hear anything? We should in a second here. There it goes. Suddenly we break point. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this thing is is so jank. It is so so jank. So these these are the uh, the name tables, right? Um, it's actually got four. Uh, it's, it has enough data for four name tables. Um. Oh right, because this isn't. I don't have the fixed version yet. Um. This was fixed in. Let me get that now. Hang on. Let me let me actually go and grab that. Um, GitHub. 
uh, sour. That's our messin' too. So that was fixed the other week. Study box issues. That was fixed uh, last week. Yeah, okay. So let's grab the Linux build. Uh, let's go uh, emulators. LS. Move all that. Uh, we're going to move uh, downloads messin to here. Messin. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many of these do I have? To there. Okay. Every fourth. Good. Uh, un unzip. Uh, unzip, if I can spell that correctly. Good. Uh, lesson two there. So we're going to pseudo move or. And too old. Uh, yeah. So let's let's close out of this real quick. Uh, before that, let's close out of that. And this guy, we're going to file workspace export labels. Uh, to code, and then over to Ness, and then study box. Where are you? And then study box. There it is. On top of that one, save, yes, replace. Okay, close out of that. Move, mess in two, to user, bin, mess in, mess in two, old, yes, oh, pseudo, sour, yeah. Mally Fractal, how you doing? All right. So now we're going to copy. Messin. That one. Over to user bin messin2. I said copy it. Thank you. Sagemoth plus X. U uh, user bin messin2. No, undo. That's what I wanted. Messin two. There it goes. Uh, that one. Debug. Open debugger. And then tile map. There we go. That's better. He's the most powerful hacker of all. Thank time. you for the uh, the gift sub, anonymous. Appreciate that. Tired. <laughs> it's fine. That's an understandable. All right, we're gonna hit A. <laughs> All right. I actually have the proper name table mirroring now. Enjoy English. Enjoy English. Ichigo. Kono go dewa jibun no namae ga iyeru yo ni naru no yo. Sa, Unit 1 kara start. Unit 1 kara start. Banger. It's a banger jingle. It really is. Th there's so many bangers in this, honestly. There's so many bangers. <laughs> there's also the chicken uh, jingle. <laughs> yeah, where's the uh, the scroll going? <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is so jank. It's so jank the way it does things. Let's read the tape now. Tape reading takes a while. Tape reading takes a hot minute. <sighs> the real MVP is Johnny, right? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Oh, goodness. I'm Akira. 
But yeah, some of this is so I'm much of this is jank. Akira. So the animation now. What's your oh, name? Let me, um, hang on, let me turn it back to. What's that one. your name? Um, I'm Arnie. So you see how Arnie there Arnie. is 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 flickering a little bit. It's nice to meet you. That happens on hardware. That's nice not an emulator thing. That happens you. on hardware. Um, oh, it's nice to meet you too. The code for this is so jank. Like for every animation, it like moves all the sprites off screen, then back onto screen, and uh, the audio and video seem to be horribly desynced. Um, they're desynced on hardware. They get. I'm pretty sure they get desynced on hardware, pretty badly. <laughs> so again, the emulator's fine. I think. I'm pretty sure the emulator's fine, but but hardware just you know, oh. Why isn't this? Do I? Oh, I need to have this focused. That's stupid. Johnny, Johnny, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's using uh, sprites for the for the for the talking part of the mouth. All right. Johnny. Johnny. Hi, Johnny. He's just being a menace over there. <laughs> this head is the only sprite. <laughs> Hello, I'm Momotaro. <laughs> and then he turns into a sprite. What the? That's so jank. Okay, I'm not sure this one's a banger. I don't know about that. <laughs> Bye, Momotaro. Bye. Where'd you go? <laughs> Jump to the other name. Oh my god. There's so many things it just does so weird with this. So weird. Hello, I'm called Monkey. What's your name? Uh, what hardware is being used for the audio? It's nice to meet you. Yes. The audio is fed directly it's from nice the tape to, to the speakers. You too. Uh, so we're, I'm running this in an emulator, but this is from this device here. Yeah, it, it's it's direct pass through from the tape. Yep, it's using the um, the expansion audio from the Famicom. Yeah. Hello, Which the NES I'm kind of almost gone. has, uh, as long as you like bridge some pins with a resistor. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. It's Actually, nice I'm to my, meet I'm you my, too. Uh, oh my NES, I've got a little card in there that, that does that for me. It's a uh, non-intrusive. Um, mod thing, I guess. Mod board? I don't know. Hello, I'm called Fessin. I'm called Fessin. What's your name? I'm Momocharo. No Charo. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's hor it, it's so nice decent. To meet you too. I'm pretty. Yeah, let me. I'll start it up over here too. So we can we can we can see it get these What's your name? Dikikaretara. I'm Momotaro. Nani nani te yobarete imasu te yu kanji de kotaeru toki wa I'm called Doc. Nickname nanka no toki ni tsukai sou ne? Oh, I need to. Hara. Mata sho ni ittara goaisatsu card o chirakashi panashi ni shita mitai. Johnny, itta tori ni kichin to narabe naoshi nasai. じゃないとご飯あげないわよ。さあ、君もよく聞いてね。Requires extra power. Did it crash? What happened? Oh, it's reading from the. Yeah, okay. Hello, I'm Kazuko Koike. Hello. What's your name? I'm Johnny. Oh, I'm Johnny. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Imakita <laughs> Are you really not going to read the tape? Come on. I'll rewind this. Rewind. I guess it was not the end. Goodness. It might be incredibly jank, but it's our jank. We're proud of it, right? Yes, 
but this must have been like a page or two in. Come on, we'll get there. Go back in there. Let's see if he wants to do it. If you want to cooperate. So like a nerd. <laughs> like a true nerd. I love it. Yeah. There we go. So this is this is the same thing running on hardware. Same exact thing running on hardware. <clears throat> I had this as hang on. Enjoy English. Ichigo. Is that loud enough, by the way? You know, it's you know the one that's got a start, though. <laughs> this thing always makes me nervous when it seeks. Always, because like it sometimes it doesn't want to work. Like sometimes the seek fails. <laughs> Learn how to say your name, essentially. I think. I think that's what it's saying. This thing's making so many sounds. <laughs> You bastard! See? It got stuck. And I can't, like, restart the tape uh, while, when it's stuck like this. Because the code is just, like, waiting for the next thing. And the, the, the tape deck's like, no. What do you mean, no? Try again. I'm going to try to go to page two now. Let's see if this works. Come on. Give me something. There it goes. Page two. This one's page two. Page four-ish is what this... Um, uh, we can't see it right now. Uh, where we got to in the emulator. Uh, what was we just that, I think? That Momotaro stuff or something. Page two is that. Okay. Sure. Sure, page one's the intro, page two is, uh, the screen. Come on. Come on. You got it. It's reading. It's trying. Come on. There it goes. There it goes. Hello, so jank. hello, hello. No, it's not hello. Both. Hello. No, that's just the tape hello. is is jank. Hello. hello. It's so jank. I'm Akira. Sometimes it, the read just fails. That's all it is. I'm Sometimes it doesn't Akira. like the read. What's your See? name? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that flashing. Your name. It's disgusting. I'm Arnie. I'm Arnie. They sold this. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet oh. you. English 104, English start, and English oh, something. Nice yeah, I, so I, when I was too. going through my um, my uh, uh, my archives, my archives, uh, the work folder, I did find other English tapes that weren't part of this of the set. Um, uh, I don't think I, st I don't think I have the I don't have the um, the translate, the Google Translate thing so open from that. Um, it translated it. English stuff feels like congratulations and awesome. Oh, oh, that's that's a new one, isn't it? Uh, next page. Konnichiwa, iyo iyo, English no lesson no start. Unit one dewa ne, English de jibun no namae ga iyeru yo ni natchao no yo. Hajimete atta hito ni don na fu ni aisat shita ra iyo no kashira. Hora hora, minna no shitte ru dareka san ga kore kara iron na hito ni deaimas. どんな風に自分の名前を言うのかどんな風に人の名前を聞くのか注意して聞いてみましょう。Let's start. 
Okay. Hello, I'm Momo Charo. Momo Charo. Where did this start to, de to uh, desync? Does anybody remember? Ends on Friday. Already has one bidder. Oh no. Oh no. Are you gonna try to grab it? So it was desync somewhere in here, right? <clears throat> Kurt. Okay, there's no way in hell it's gonna finish at that. Hello, I'm 10 KN? Monkey. That's like what? What's eight bucks? I'm Momotaro. It's I expect nice that to, to hit like you. fifty bucks at least. It's nice to meet you too. Thinking about it? Yeah. The other transport was horribly decent in emulation and considerably less so here. Mm. Hello, I'm called Dog. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Momotaro. It's nice to meet you. Okay, so it's, it's still nice kind of decent here, but not as bad. Yeah. Se I was close. Seven bucks. Hello, I'm called Besser. What's your name? Didn't think about English. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, this right here. I remember being terrible. I'm Momo so, Chow. It's nice to meet you. Whoa, okay, all right. It's nice to meet you too. Yeah, they're they're both kind of desynced. Desync is probably proportional to tape stretch. Mm. Yeah. What's your name? That could be part of why um it fails the read uh, every once in a while, like p the page seek. Is this gonna fail? Like it did just now. <laughs> it failed the page se page seek again. Yeah. Which also could be why it doesn't really like the larger tapes, right? So yeah, for shits. I, so I I copied something onto this tape. Let's see if it works. I recorded something on it uh, earlier today, um, just before stream. Let's, uh, yeah, so it is, it is that way. Yeah. Let's see if it works. I don't think it will. We can try it. It's one of the um, uh, the other English ones that I do not have um, tapes of. Oh, wait, no, wait, hang on. That. I look at this right? No, that was right. Okay. All right. I can never get, like, I can never, I always get, like, backwards of, like, which way is, like, the, yeah. So we could pos plausibly fix the desync of its uh, tape stretch by uh, resampling the tapes using uh, the data clock as a reference. Hmm. Well, page one, let's go. Let's see what it is. See if it wants to load. Because, yeah, the data clock has, has some stuff built in, right? Or, no, I'm thinking of, um, am I thinking of the, uh, the other? I'm thinking of the, um, the family basic stuff that does the, um, puts the clock on the tape. Oh, look at that! It's the duo bird. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Newton Waldo. Oh yes. <laughs> it's the duo bird. What is he about the gun? <laughs> I don't know. I vaguely remember this tape. Vaguely. <laughs> 
<laughs> Learned English, you never see your family again. Yeah. <laughs> the flashing is so terrible. So bad. Is it going to make it to the next page? Come on. I need to continue doing it too, honestly. <laughs> Come on. It's still trying. It's still going. I'm surprised it's getting this far. Oh, you never see fun again. Yeah. <laughs> I need like a little mirror on above the window so I can mix. Don't have to lean over the stupid thing all the time. Wild Eighty. Wild Eighty. <laughs> So this one, um, I've only got the audio for. I don't have the uh, the corresponding set of... Well, oh, I might, actually. I might have the set of bucks Never mind. I might actually have this one. Somewhere. The set of bucks file. Was this a direct copy from another tape or round trip via PC decode and code? This is... Um, uh, I have the raw audio file on PC. Yeah. What about the script for... Uh, Cindybad? Again, Richard? Cindybad? find a lot less of a slog and I can sight read parts of it. <laughs> Cindy Bat, huh? What the heck is that? Wait, is this one of the... Oh, no. This is one of the... Um, the science ones, isn't it? Oh, boy. This one's dangerous, I think, isn't it? Is this, the this isn't the frogs one, right? Hmm, that decent, my god. Who's that lying on the ground in front of bricks? Is that a crack pipe? Why are the frogs? God, right. I like the skyline there. I like what they did with that. That was good. That sky? That sky? <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm, this is bringing back some memories. Oh no, oh no. Is this, <laughs> is this the, the dragonfly one? So somewhere in the middle, uh, in the middle then. But hey, at least that means the PC to tape to Famicom parts are working. Yeah. Uh, it was a shuttle. Was it? All right. Oh, Jesus. What? Oh, God. huh? This is the Dragonfly one. They were playing Batman. Got it. Look at him go. Actually, that animation. Hang on. Let me see that. Let me watch that again. Oh, I bet you. Okay, so that the the color inside the the box is probably the background color, and um, had the sprite priority for the background, or under background or something like that. Time lapse in biology. Oh boy, danger, danger, danger. That's what that is. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Okay, that's no, that no. Okay. All right, well, some nice art in, in much of this, though, you know? What's over here? Anything over here? Grasshopper. Mushroom's going fantastic. Uh, Billy Bob Butterfly Biscuit. Buttery Biscuit, excuse me. Butterfly. I don't know why I said butterfly. Maybe because there's bugs on the screen. I don't know. Welcome. How you doing? Uh, I need to find something else. Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey now. Get off of him. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Toss it, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, probably. It's, it's probably fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
No, so it ain't, say it ain't so, right? But yeah, so I like the fact that this is actually working now. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Why are they hovering? Why are they flying? Yeah, there's all kinds of desync here. And it, yeah, very well, it could be the um the playback for the tape. Probably find the shawl of it. <laughs> I haven't I haven't reread the the, the toss yet. Anyway, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there. Come over here. Yeah, turn that off. We might come back to that later. All right. <laughs> Where was I? Hi, Johnny. All right. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Do we need that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Come on. Come on. Control G. Thank you. This goes over there. 88CC. No, we're learning byte code, okay? Yes, <laughs> double yes. No, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. Handler. E. Let me uh, start the music again, though. Uh, I don't think you finished the previous one yet. Did the raid? Um, yeah, it got stuck uh, on hardware, so I'm like, eh. Oh, you mean that? Oh, um, this eight eight nine one. Uh, eight eight nine one nineteen nine one. This guy. You're right. I don't think I did. All right. <clears throat> uh, no, still okay. Um. Right. So, handler C. Oh, yeah, because I didn't actually forget what it was doing. Okay, so, inline to argument B. <laughs> inline bite. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, right, because I went on the rant about the the macro crap. All right, yep. Tied to loud? Okay, I'll turn it a little bit. I, I changed the levels when I turned the hardware on. Uh, argument A greater than or equal to. Okay, this one. Wait, so that be equal to? AC. Where's AC? Right there. Decrement A. ASL. What? Wait a minute. What? What the hell is this? Note the code pointer. Add that to A. Store back. What are you doing? And then j wait a minute. Is this a is this a branch? This is a um. Uh, an offset. Uh, jump. Yeah, that's what that's what I was looking for. In mind whichever is smaller but not zero. Okay, so this is the jump. Um no, don't don't add that to the watch. That doesn't need to be on the watch. This edit label. This is um. Do jump. As that is. Argument A. Is zero. Wait. Do the jump. So that okay. So that's using argument B. 
Okay. Um, what was I just now? Compare that to B. If they're equal, do something else. Wait, what? Take one shift. What the hell do you want here? Oh. Take one by one. Shift it. Left. It's multiplied by two. Clear carry. Add that to the code pointer. Store it. Do the overflow check. What? This is a branch, isn't it? Right? Because it's either going to A. Could, is it could put it, wait a minute. See it all on the um in the uh, the pop up. Yeah. Huh. Unconditional jump. Okay. If they're equal, unconditional jump to the code pointer plus argument A. Otherwise, argument B. But this, RTSs, doesn't actually do the jump. Change the code point order does the jump. Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that is what that is. <clears throat> jump to A or B. If if A equals B, if if, if argument A equals the inline, jump jump there. Just jump to A. Otherwise, jump to B? Huh? Jump there to avoid fall through. I mean, this jump is here because um, the, the jump handler uses argument A, whereas this down here uses argument B. Or B jump. It also uh, uses A if A minus B is less than zero. I'm so confused. 
Yeah, this is just going to be a branch then. Conditional branch of some sort. Uh, so if BMI would, would hit, it falls through. Mm. Am I ready for the... Uh, I don't know if I am. I don't know if I am. Why? What is it? Branch to greater of two arguments? I don't know. Is it that? It's in the document. Uh, 891. As an 8-bit inline-out brand followed by a, uh, as many 16-bit um, inline... 16-bit inline operands. If the static argument is between 1 and the value of the 8-bit operand, inclusive, set the instruction pointer to the value of the corresponding 16-bit inline operand. Conditional indexed absolute jump. Fuck off. What? Go to hell. Conditional indexed absolute jump. What? Where would you even use that? Well, a jump table. Okay. A conditional for a jump table. Maybe. I hate this. I hate it so much. <laughs> no! That would be it. Oh my god. No. Oh, God. No. I hate that. PLB has something similar to this crap. It's got something similar to this. Um, the conditional portion is the default case then, right? That's why it ASLs. It's indexing to a word table. Decrement to be based off of zero instead of off of one. All right, the conditional uh, portion uh, is that it falls through if the stack parameter is out of range. So jank. So yeah, argb is the default. Oh. Oh. Um. Default case. Arg A.
I hate that so much. Oh my god. Oh god. Was it CC? Handler, EE, -E. okay. Yeah, well, this is the one we jumped to too early. So much, so much of this is, is so jank. Inline arg, uh, arg beads and rough cases in the switch. Then was that was that what that is? Because he uses that as the pointer at the at the very end, so that's got to be the default case. Yeah. So the default is like up to that that um that limit. You have to uh, the switch is inclusive. You have to have all the numbers from from zero to the last number. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, default case and the range. And max size. Oh. All right. This fucking loop again. The one loop. The one loop. The not loop. Fuck you. Inline bite to arg B. Oh boy. Double word 34. The high bite of that, or the second bite. Oh, Jesus. Um, high bite of the first word. Goes into argument B. No. Let me back up. We're clearing out that bite. We're taking B, putting it in the low bite. Add it, rotate. Increment the stack pointer. Okay, so we're adding... No, we're, we're taking... We're taking that. We're taking B. The inline. Um, we are doubling it. To be an index into something? No. We're adding that to the code pointer. That's... Oh, Jesus. That's that's an unconditional... Unconditional relative jump. Isn't it? Where 34 equals inline times 2. Yeah. It's the same indexed inline structure again. Is it? Oh, let's do some shit with the stack, though. Hang on. 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 Okay, there's that. Label 893D. It is doing it is doing something very similar, isn't it? Label eight nine zero zero. I'm gonna jump right there. Argument A or Where's the other one? Where the hell is the other one? Three D. Over here. Argument B. Ar wait, B? Where the hell did argument B come from? Inline. Damn it. <laughs> ASL, B, clear carry, load that, store it. Load, add carry, store. I don't know why you couldn't, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Um, God, this is so jank, bro. So goddamn jank. So on the address in Word thir uh, Thirty Four, though, not the code pointer at least there. Yeah, and I, I skimmed over that stuff. So, 
All right. In line, and then this. The word at thirty-four. Okay. All right, we're at 34. This can we be. Stores it, shifts it, rotates that onto. Okay, sure, fine. <coughs> Loaded that. Add to the pointer. Stores it back into 34. Same thing. What argument A? For equal? This guy is... What is it again? Jump, um... Argument B? Or jump arg B. And this one is jump arg A. Kind of? But this. Alright. Really? Label 890F. Is it worth uh, 36 to address zero? I did. This might be the call version of the previous jump dispatch. That's what it's starting to look like. I haven't gone through all of it, but I'm seeing something look that that that, that would make sense for. Yeah. <clears throat> did I ever have the patience to do this without even using nested said to post process to dis disassembly? <laughs> nested said. Oh my god! I remember you writing that stuff up. <clears throat> All right, this guy is a proper loop because we're doing this one twice. Notice by the LDY2, Jackerman. Label 8912, loop. All right, inline, inline uh, word to argument A. Inline arg, inline word to arg A. And then word 34 to the stack pointer. No, in the stack. We'll push that to the stack. Word 34 to the stack. L891D. Loop. Uh, this being the end of that table then, right? Because we're adding the length. If we assume that the length of the table is the inline, we're adding that to word 34. And then we're pushing that to the stack down here. So that's where to where to where to return to. Yeah. Um increment stack pointer. Yeah, this is more increment stack pointer stuff. It will eight nine nine three no three zero three zero thank you three zero a little loop um God, I don't know why they have to use a loop for this stuff honestly I just I don't get it like you don't even need a loop you just need a two two you know LDS story Load a story. You just need that. You don't need a loop. But fine. Whatever. Fucking macro bullshit code. <laughs> Nine, three, three. Oh, that one actually is a loop, though. I need to put it as a loop. Edit. Lop. Oh, my God. 
Um, arg A to the cofoint. Yeah, okay. So this arg A to code pointer. Um, or A to stack. A oh, word 34. Uh, so, um, word 34. To stack. <clears throat> Find another table. Okay, so table, uh, well, the last one is the jump table. Yes. And there's a default case there. All right. Line by arg b, which is the length. And the default case, yeah. So this is a JSR then. Did I go past the end of it? Yeah. Um. Okay, this one's a call. Call switch. Um. Uh. Length and default. Fault case in. In line. In my own word, uh, yeah, that's fine. And the other one, this one, is a jump switch. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, God, more loop stuff. No. 894B. <clears throat> Handler, 87. Straight up, set the carry. Load the stack pointer. Oh, we're grabbing something off the stack. Okay. Putting in word 34. Oh, God. There's that word 34 again. Might get further on this than I did. <laughs> We're getting there. We are getting there. Um, oh, you didn't uh, dig out uh, dig, dig this entire one? All right. So pulling some off the stack. That was in the stack. Um, pulling something else off the stack... That's in 36. I thought I had word 36. The name already exists somewhere. What I add zero. Oh, I that's what you say now, yep. Yep. Um alright, so it pops two things off the stack. I'm sorry, three things off the stack. Puts the second thing the middle thing off from the stack into argument B. Wait. Hold up. ASR handler CB. What the fuck? Sum. Why didn't I name this sum? Edit. Sum. What the hell was I thinking? Um. Sum A and B. A 
That's two things off the stack. Okay. And put that into 36, which was one of the things off the stack. Wait, what the f Hang on. 34. Okay, is 34 used anywhere else in here? Uh, there we go. Loop. The lop. This one's lop again. third thing off the stack right so i don't read that right i am reading that right right so first thing off the stack second thing off the stack third thing off the stack is a byte 38 hey edit label byte 38 probably Put 36 in B, sum them together, grab that sum, put it back in 36. Take something else off the stack. What? Put that in B. Le oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah, this is going to be some kind of loop construct. I got a less than or greater than. Oh, no. 8, 9, C, D. Whoa. Yep. Why is 36 a pointer? Shit, you're right. <coughs> why is it? I have no idea. No idea why 36 is a pointer. Pointer everywhere. 36 was off the stack, so that came off the stack. That's. That is the variable we're using as the loop counter, isn't it? 36 is the loop counter. The, at, the point of the loop counter. <laughs> but how is the point of 36? Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's, oh. argument A is, is what we increment by then, right? 36 is, yeah, 36 is the pointer to our, um, counter variable. Taking something else off the stack. <clears throat> putting it in B. This is what we're checking against then. Right? Yeah. So B is our end condition. Less than is going down to here. Greater than is going over here. Less than. No, wait. They're both go. Branch plus. That just jumps over that. Um. That is the condition of less than or greater than. Byte 38. Where the hell is that? Byte 38 is argument A on the stack? What the hell? Hey, don't look. Based on the sign of something? Yeah. If you're incrementing or decrementing, then, right? That's what that's going to be. Increment or decrement. 
If you're incrementing or decrementing the 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 variable, the counter variable, the loop variable. Word 34 is the end of the loop, isn't it? E0, where is that one? Where the hell is that jump to from? That's just a loop. Okay. Uh, I label loop. Um, All right, Catboy, have a good night. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Sleep well. Um. Eight. Why the fuck? Why is it only eight? Oh, is that how much shit's on the stack? That's how much crap's on the stack, isn't it? Jesus. Eight things on the stack? Is that really what that is? Two, four, six. Eight, yeah. Oh my god, there's eight things on that stack. Jesus. It's limit, increment, iteration, and loop entry on the stack. Is it loop entry? Is that what that is? 34. I guess, goodness. Handle areas of a loop. So, on the stack, we've got. Yeah, give me a second. So, yeah. Limit. Limit. Increment. Um. Loop var. And then. Loop entry. All right. 34 uh, at the start of the at the start and at the end. Yeah, 34 is coming off at the very beginning. At the end, being put back on top. Yeah, so this is like a loop two, right? So, hey, we're, we're the, the, you. Get to this instruction. At that instruction, it says, hey, this is how high we want to be. This is what we're incrementing by. This is our variable. If all that checks out, jump here. Which is presumably somewhere else, like above, right? <sighs> like, the re like it, it'd be the um, uh, a do while, kind of. Or oh, do for? Maybe. Oh, there, may, uh, there may also be other loop contracts that use the same head operation. Mm. Probably the other side of that head loop operation you saw earlier. Did that store that much crap in here, though? Where's your limit? Uh, iteration bar and loop entry. All right. It's probably something else that adds a limit in the increment. Mm. We'll come back to it, maybe. Just make my head hurt. Eight, nine, F eight. String oh. No, God, please, God, no. No! 
Handler, uh, C3. Get another byte code or the tapes uh, use other operations to push those manually. Mm. I mean, we're only, we're not even halfway through these byte codes. There's 118 of them and we're at 37. We've got a, f we've got a few, a few byte codes, just a few, just a handful, not too many. I just did that. Uh, all right. Oh boy. Argument A. All right. What? A is not not zero. Okay, if we're not zero, and B is also not zero. Return one. Or something. What? Huh? What? Okay. Uh. Are not zero? Arg B not oh, that's, let's do it this way. Edit label. This one. Arg B is not zero. What the hell? Branch not equal over there. Branch equal to zero. Wait a minute. If it's two bytes? No, hang on. What the fuck? Hang on. So if it's equal, if A is zero, we're returning. All of A is zero. We're returning. This one. If all of B is zero, we're returning. Okay. So, A and B are not zero. And B. Well, B is not equal one. Branch not equal. Return. Wait. Does that just return there? That's always going to be something. It's a branch. Yeah, it's a branch always. God, I hate that. Back to back, branch equal, branch not equal. Yeah. <laughs> um Okay, so what the hell is this doing? Um If A and B are not zero are A And arg B not zero. If arg argument A not equal to zero and argument B not equal 
zero. End. Re return one. Else return zero. C3? What? Logical and! Oh. If the parameter is zero, the result is zero. Otherwise, the result is one. Okay. You want to just name it a logical and then? Arg A. And. Arg B. How about that? School seems to, to uh, like using branch always. Yeah. Yeah, it's in there a lot, isn't it? Oh, okay, here's, here's the next one. All right. Edit label. C4. Well, that's a logical rather than bitwise and. Right. It's fine for now. Um, okay, handler C4. Logical or. Oh, bloody hell. Next one, C2, <sighs> all the logicals. Not control F, control G, 8A, 1C. Go to hell. <laughs> Go to hell. Don't worry, the next one isn't a logical operation. Yeah. Handler. C2. Yeah, logical name. Results is one if parameter is zero. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping that name. The equals zero. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. C2, E2. Oh. Oops. It is C2. Yes. Good catch. All right. Next one. <laughs> Back to the strings. Back to the strings. 8, 8, 2, 6. Oh, that's a branch always right up there. Cool. Cool. Handler. 8C. Um. What the hell's going on here? All right. Load X. Zero. Store that into argument A. Load A. The word buffer. The, the string buffer. 700. Something, maybe. 
Branch equal. Edit label. It's for the done. 8A32. When x, branch on equal, yep. Ha 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 ha. L8A2A. Loop. Mm. Yeah, stringling. Yeah. That's what this is, isn't it? Um, of no terminated. Results in argument A. Next block is, of course, code. This little this little thing here. Yeah, I figured this was. No, no. What the, what is thirty two in argument? Oh Jesus! Is this the next one? Thirty five. It's the fucking next one. Jesus. And label? Handler. D8. All right, load 32, put that in B. I'll do it in some looping, probably. Oh, God, what is this? Load X0, load Y, A. What the hell? 8, A, 5, D. Branch equal or minus. Okay, so this is plus down here. Where the fuck did that go? That oh no. This is a loop. Okay. Eight A four two loop. Yeah, so argument A would be the the size then? No, um, yes, maybe? Hang on. Arge has the size of this string. What the fuck is this? What is going on here? Branch equal down to here. This is a truncate. Is this a truncate? Or a chop or something like that? This one is uh, A39. That's a fall through. <laughs> yeah, this guy right here. Jesus. Um, yeah, that's that's D8. No, D8 and um, D9. God. D9. How dare you. Concentrate, maybe? <laughs> Think harder, obviously. goes down there and that's storing the null so this is, I'm gonna call this one done 
Concatenate. Oh. <laughs> um. Match equal. But I don't know. Deck went Y. String is backwards in that, in that though, isn't it? What do I A deck went Y? Deck went R and B. Branch minus the done. Loads to Oh Jesus. Oh god, you're right. What the hell is this? Is this like a chop? Like removing an internal part or something? What the hell is going on here? Unless the nine string pointer is a non string pointer is a pointer. This right here, this would be chopping something in in this is, or chopping or moving something, right? X is zero. Is X modified anywhere else? No. This starts at zero. And they're both incremented at the end. This is a loop. Okay. In this loop. 8A, 4D, loop. It's going to decrement argument B. Branch minus to done. It's also going to branch equal to done if on 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 the word. So null terminated. Okay. Null terminated. Increment y and x. X a destination. Just a copy? Y is A. Okay, what, what? B being length, right? B is the length. Argument B is length. Copy from That index, our index A for B characters or until null? First one looks for the last null. <laughs> Rather, the first null. You're right. Molly zero. <laughs> this one jumps to a different spot because it doesn't need to load A because it's already zero. Save it the like three cycles or whatever it is. Okay.
Is this just like finding the start of the fucking word or something? Is this a replace? Starting at Y, look backwards. Make sure you don't have a null. Until zero. Is that what that's doing? Load Y, decrement it again. So decrement beneath the null, assuming that the Y points to a null, or A rather points to a null. Then we're taking B. We're decorating that. Loading A at Y. And storing it at X. He's chopping off the first bit of it. Yeah, it's just like chopping off the first first part of it. Bit of it. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. One of them is saying, "Yeah, handle D eight. That's that's working on a, uh, um, a string buffer." The other one is assumed that you'll put something in argv. I don't know what that means, Omega. I'm to argue by stopping the first null. Out of memory, got it. Visual Studio Code? Oh my god. I don't know, this is some weird ass string bullshit. Um. Some weird string crap. Uh. Moving data up in the buffer? I, I guess? That's what it seems like it's doing. Like, a, it's trimming the beginning of it. I think. Right? Yeah. <sighs> Not of a string, but of the string buffer. Uh, first, it checks that it has more bytes in the buffer than it's told to chop off, and if so, it does the chopping. This one does it on a static size of the buffer. And this one does it on an arbitrary size of the buffer. but to know yeah yeah so it's always going to trim something either some of it or all of it sure max size of the buffer yeah
Yeah. Oh, that's literally just that. Okay. It is six three. Oh no. Four five. Six three. Okay, so we're trying to the tail end of it. Whew. I thought it jumped into it somewhere. Wait, what? What did I? No. Oh, Marcus. Yeah. Edit label. Handler. Nine two. Nope. Nine, 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 two. Compare A to 20, or 32. Compare to plus. Eight A, six E. It's an RTS, okay. I don't need to put them there. <sighs> this is a trim. Uh, hang on. Uh, trim, st uh, trim string start, and this is just truncate. This is a truncate. That's all that is. Okay. That was easy enough. What's this? Oh, Jesus. I like the cut above? Yeah. I just did that one. What? 888. Oh, here's a concatenation. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. That's this guy here. Edit label. Handler. 8E. Load X, low Y. Or load Y, low X. Load X. Uh, this one's looking for... The null. Uh, label 8A, 8C. Loop. This one here is the end of that. 8A, 9, 9, 9, 9, 4. Okay, so find null. Uh, and then, compare it to one half. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, you can't, you can't concatenate them if they're too long. A, 6F? No, that was, um. Oh, so I'm jumping, I'm, I'm. Oh, I guess I did. 6F. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. That's right there anyway. Handle or something. I don't know yet. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, let me find first. For the first null, uh, this guy is probably going to be next early. Before that's right there. Right, eight AA, not six. It's eight, eight AA four. Yep, that's an exit early. Okay. To length check. Seven twenty. Uh. Oh, that's that's a different. Oh boy. Uh, so that's not a. <laughs> so that's gonna be. 
we're going to rename this from word 700 to string 700. String at 700. This guy is going to be string 720. <clears throat> this guy's going to be 32. At level, it's going to be uh, 32, not 4, 32. So what is this guy, actually? Like that. Yeah, so this is just uh, a concatenate then, yeah? Making sure we don't have a, a null... Or we find the first null, the first end of the string. Making sure we're not over over the length. And then from there, we are copying the next one onto it. Notably, there's no length check here. <laughs> so the result could be bigger than your buffer. Uh, and what happens after running a bytecode that produces a result in 700? <laughs> I was wondering about these two buffers. I haven't seen them filled yet, I don't think. I'm not sure I'll get to that tonight, honestly. Well, I have been going for like six and a half hours. My God. D7, that's what that one is. Right, let's uh, edit. Cat strings. Uh, concatenate. Um, string buffers. Oh, string buffer. Um, 0, 7, 20. To the end of zero seven hundred. <clears throat> now, to say that increment uh, branch angle would do that, but no, it wouldn't. Only if it was only if the limit was two fifty six. Yeah. Yep. So these presumably are both twenty byte or twenty byte thirty two byte buffers, presumably. So if you have like two 30 character strings and you smash them together you've got a 60 character string now I suppose it's not really a problem since the result um, won't overflow the combined buffer I mean I suppose I guess I don't know Change the logic marker, I guess. Uh, There's way too many errors for that to handle. <laughs> Swing other code doesn't use, reuse 720 too early anyway. That's 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 a troublesome assumption. All right, this guy. This guy is uh, D7. How does this do? Load A, put it in B. Get the string length. <laughs> Fucking result in A. Okay, so backs up A, puts the length of the first string in A. Clears the carry, subtracts B from that. Trax B. Increments by one, two. Increments by two. 
Loads it back up. Stores it in A. Does this just chop off, like, the first bite or something like that? What the hell is this doing? Trim is the start of the string buffer. Start of the string buffer. Chops off everything except the last RG bytes. I guess? Trim string. I, I, uh, not quite, uh, with the increments. I, yeah, it's kind, of, yeah. I, String uh, arg a is tail byte count to keep, probably. No. A stalker, how you doing? Liking the colors? Thank you. Appreciate that. This isn't JavaScript, though. This is pretty far from JavaScript. Uh, we're, gonna <laughs> we're just going to leave that one at that. That's, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, 88. Was that the one I just did? Yeah, that's the one I just did. Okay. Eight. Ah! It keeps arg minus two bytes at the tail. Oh, right. Um, in the label. Uh, arg minus two. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Edit. Arg minus two is tail byte count to keep. This is a Scottish JavaScript. Oh my god. No. It's jank as hell, is what it is. I need, a, I need a new one on that. Separate that out. Jank as hell. Uh, Alright. Eight. Ah! Okay. That is code. Thank you very much. I said that is code. Thank you very much. So was that. This is also code. Thank you. Oh god! Edit label. Handler. 990. What the hell is this? We haven't even gone here yet. What is this? It takes this and negates it. <laughs> Language better than PLB. I mean, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, God. This was doing some string compare. Oh, God. String comparison. No! Uh, this is a string compare right here. Alright, uh, A, 8A, B, 0. 8F. It feels like a comparison operation. You don't say. Load compare. Imagine databasing for banks on 602. <sighs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Um, Handler, 8F. <laughs> yeah, just... No. Hmm, compare looks like compare. <laughs> Thank you for your wise words. <laughs> Label 8AFA. -A. Jump return zero. Oh, go to hell. Return zero, and then this one swaps that. <sighs> 
branch not equal down to there. Okay. So this is... Yeah. Load that. Branch equal. Uh, label 8AF7. That's going to be our... Six, oh, God, it's in here. Code, 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 code. Give me code, code. All the code. Come on, code, code. Code, 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 code. There it is. Return one return. <laughs> Try ruin nest dev for you. Yeah. Banking on the nest. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, fuck off with this. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's 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 get these labels sorted first. L, 8, A, B, 2. That's a loop. Okay. Loop like that. This guy. And a label. Uh, 8, A. No, label 8, A, D, 4. Down there. Okay. This guy, label 8AC4. It's up there. That one's a loop. Loop. This one. Edit that. Label 8AE7. Get down there. This one's a loop. Label 8ADA. Loop. All right. Also, banks on this already. Uh, well, some nest cards at least. <laughs> the mirror banks, not databases. Uh. All right. So, we are quite clearly comparing two strings. So this one. zero okay branch not equal not equal uh, this guy f7 return one um What? Hang on. That's inside the loop. So compare compare the two characters. If they're not equal, return zero. Oh, yeah, okay. They are equal because we just compared them. And if the first string at this character is null, we're done. Both equal found null. Good. Um, and we're next. Uh, branch not equal. 256. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like we had 8186. The core loop of the interpreter. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll jump there in a bit. Um, Linux 0. And then this loop. Why are we? Why? What? We just compared these. Why are we doing it again? Hang on. What the hell is this? What? Wait. Whoa. Is this doing the exact same thing twice? Eight AC zero, eight AC zero. Is there a branch always? Yeah, that's the loop though. All right, most yeah, yeah. So is this? 
another entry point. It is! God damn it! Ninety-one. Okay, so this is strings equal. Trailing combo support. Uh, and this one is strings not equal. Because that just negates the call. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna that label. Copy that. And in here, edit that. Not equal. It's counting the null. Mm. At most, 31 bytes if you don't count the null. Yeah. The buffer is 32. All right. So let's return 0, return 1, both equal found null. Uh, uh, down here. Um, this guy is going to be... Why do they go to different ret Why? Why? Why would you do that? You go into two separate return one and zero? Why? Why? Like the first one jumps over this other handler. Why would you do that? Because this is way the fuck down here too, right? F7? Yeah, it's way down here. Return one. What are they smoking? All right, return zero if not equal. Uh, load that branch equal return zero. So if they're not equal, return zero. But if they are equal, return zero. Huh? I don't think I messed up the labels. Okay, so this one here. Return zero right there. This one, return zero. They are literally the same spot. They both go to return zero. Wait, branch plus minus. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a branch there. Uh, yeah, this one's a null check right here. That's a null check right there. So these are not equal. Okay, so not equal. What happens if they're not equal? If it's greater than or... Okay, so one of them is, is, is check if greater than, I guess? Yeah, they're, okay, that return zero is not quite right then. Um, French equal... That's... that's
the return. <laughs> um, return zero, return one. So, positive um, is if 720 is less than? Right? And this one is the other way around. Or less than or e uh, greater than or equal to, rather, right? So this one would be uh, seven, 700, 720, like that. But this one's got the equals. Right? Is that correct? I feel like it might be. I don't know. I think this might be backwards. Hmm. Well, no, I think it's correct. Because a compare is essentially a, a subtract, right? Yeah. So load the 720, subtract, uh, load the 700, subtract 720. If they're not equal, jump down, okay. If they're not equal. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's return zero. So if 720 is less than, or 700 is less than 720. Jesus. If string 700 is less than 720, Not, not that. Um, return one. Else, return zero. That's jank as hell. Cryptic con man, how you doing? What am I looking at? Is this RAM registry or something like that? It's, it's kind of, maybe. Um, what's the 64 byte array at 140? I have no idea. Um, I have no idea. I know there's an array there, though. There's something. I have no idea. I don't think I figured that out yet. I just know that, that there's something there. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we are disassembling and analyzing some byte code. Uh, from, I almost pulled it out. Once on. From uh, this guy here. This is a, well, that's a little warm. That's a little warm. Oh, boy. Um, from this guy. This is a... Uh, the tape drive for the Femicom with uh, program data, program code on this. We are um, figuring that out. This thing gets warm. Goodness. It's uh, it does all kinds of really jank shit too. Like every oh, so much of this is just why, why, why. Why? Why are you doing that? Come here, string less than. Yeah. Uh, string equal. Okay. String not equal. God. String. Freaking. Oh, no. I don't need to break one there. These freaking string comparisons, man. No, not that. This one. D8 right here. Edit that label. Handler. 90, 92.
All right, load X. Looking at this. Return one. Huh? Zero. Compare that. Huh? Return one or if if it's null. Okay. Compare that. Branch not equal. Hold up. Why is there a loop? Why is there a loop here? Looks like it's related to another ray, same size, at uh, 4B100. Um, yeah, so I remember going through a bunch of the, the, the clear code. So um, uh, when a page is loading, uh, so you, uh, from the start screen, you hit A or whatever, um, and it starts reading a bunch of shit from the tape. Uh, in the middle of all those IRQs, it's clearing out pages of shit. Um, and I remember one of them... Uh, yeah, it, it cleared out some stack crap, and it cleared out, like, the same size tables in other places. Sprite, so Sprite DMI page is at 200, isn't it? I think so, yeah. No. Actually, it could have been Sprites, yeah. That might have been it. That might it might have been sprites. Cause I, th I think it was in the same code that was clearing out some sprite stuff. I think. I think. Yes, yeah, sp sprites are at two hundred uh, on this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So when you when you load a screen, right, and it shows the little animation, plays the sound, right, it, while it's looking for the page. Um, once it finds the page, the, the, the screen the screen clears out. That clear of the screen there, that also clears out. I'm pretty sure some of the stack. That stack you're talking about, the um, at hex 140. Yeah. Uh, this is a string prefix compare apparently. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Um, all right, yeah, so, handle the 9 What the devil's going on here? Um, branch equal. Okay, so if it's not equal, we're continuing down. Compare that. Oh, sh um, that's at 720. I'm looking at the other one. Oh, my God, I thought that was 700 for a second. Okay, uh... one string 720 compare that to string 720 branch not equal to return so we're not equal okay um this is another string compare I just saw this change oh, you bastard this inverts it oh my god Oh God! Oh Jesus! Less than this is like a greater than or something, isn't it? All right. So um, this one triggers right here. Edit label. This guy triggers if uh, seven hundred is less than seven twenty. And this one, 700 is greater than or equal to 720. Like that. So it's the exact opposite of this guy here. It's greater than. Less, wait, what the hell? Pushing less than. 
if 700 is less than 720, return 1. Wait. It's doing basically the same thing, but differently. Right? Unless I'm backwards on something? Because these are both doing the compares co the same. Only the second one is bailing early if it's equal. Some of the sprites. Uh, this one byte code is looping through the table at 140, looking for something, then smacking the entry in the same index at uh, uh, 4B800. Multiplies the index by 4 and sets the resulting entry in 200 to F0. Sprite disabled, right? In the in the bit of, in the bit of code you're looking at, yeah. No. The sprite handling in this is jank as hell, too. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm, I just real. Yeah. Plus is at the bottom, minus is at the top. What the hell? Less than or equal? I mean, I guess. Well, you'd be glad to know that you're you'll be seeing some of the sprite logic soon. <laughs> That. I might actually wrap up here soon because I've been going for seven hours. My God. Oh, T equal. Lieutenant equal. Uh, if string 700 less than or equal to string 720. Is that what you're saying? Return one, else return zero. Yeah, that doesn't really seem that doesn't seem right. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Cause like it, it is, it's doing the same thing but differently to this. The less than right. Cause with that one is checking the full length of both of both strings essentially, but this one's bailing early. Like, what the heck's going on there? Print sure that strings are equal up to the length of the first string, even if it's not equal for the rest of it. Starts with? Has prefix. Also returns true if 700 less than 720. I don't know. It's some weird less than. I don't know. I'm, I'll might come back to it later. I don't know. I don't know. Same as Naya to a negative. Just fuck you. Eight A E B. E B right here. Handler ninety three. Nine nine ninety three. Uh. <laughs> 
probably greater than. I don't know. Um, F1, is that the next one? Yeah, that's the next one. It's another negation. 94. First string less than. It's greater than. Keep these uh, consistent here. Fair string. Oh, there's the table stuff. <laughs> That's why you were asking for it. This first routine to that too, just not the same one. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. It's just weird. So this is sprite crap. 140 JSR to wherever this is. Sprites. Oh God. Um. Yeah, this is gonna be. I'm gonna just name this one disable sprite. Label eight BB three. Disable sprite. Index X. Low day. Compare that to zero. Branch equal to over here. Oh, Jesus. Um... Clear tables, this thing. This is that weird ass routine routine I was talking about. Clear some shit in uh, B400 in stack in some other places and a word table, like real jank shit. Um, all over the place. All over the place. This so th this this is called um in the startup routine. Uh, the, the, the initial load routine for stuff. At least I think. I don't think this is a is a opcode or bytecode rather. Um, it could be. It could be. I could have been. I could have been stop, stepping through bytecode. I don't know. All right, uh, load X, 3F. Okay. And notice we don't do the decrement 1 here. Load that. Compare it to A. Branch not equal. This is a loop. All right. Loop. What was this? Oh, Jesus. Turn on sprites and background. Oh, God. Well, no, that's not actually what that is. That's over here. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We're going down a rabbit hole. We're going down a rabbit hole. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. It's fine. We'll come back to that. It's okay. Um. Yeah, so that clears some tables. Um. Compared to that. 
That's the done thing. No, that's next. Yeah. Um, otherwise, if we are equal... Flag 80. Where the hell is this? <laughs> I love my comment there. The fuck is this? Set to 40 after clearing some RAM. Huh? Store, increment, store, load, store, load, store, store. Oh, God. That's something sprite-related, obviously. It's got to be. It's got to be some sprite-related bullshit. Like the disabled number of sprites or something? Like, what the hell? That disables it. Okay. And the JSR's over here instead of just jumping. And this E seven two seven. Well, this guy. That's going to be a flag, I'll say. 9-4. Oh, God! I saw so much of these change. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Four, five, three. Oh, boy. Match article E1. This is a loop. What? This is a loop. What? No, they won RTS. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, this is used everywhere. Some of them are actually jumped to. Okay. Oh, God. I hate it. I hate it. All right, come over here. Springboard it over to here. Oh, the pointer. And it. Love the p pointer and, and and that too. What the hell? Exclusive. What the f what? Hang on. All right. Load the low bite of the pointer and it with two. Store it. Load the high bite and it with two. Exclusive or it with the low bite. Clear the carry branch. Not equal. Set the carry. What the shit? Then rotate this. But what the hell is this? Find out a pointer here. Yeah. Probably a word. <sighs> Excuse me. But I've seen this used as a pointer all over the place, I think, right? Maybe not all over the place, but I've seen it used as a pointer in some places. Yeah, see, there's a bunch there. Yeah, let's rename this to Word. So I have no idea what's going on here. What X? Different Y. Wait, what the hell? X and Y, are they loaded as something?
X is B8. Y is 8. Huh? X is B8. That's just an arbitrary place in RAM. Well, not RAM, but... Huh? In zero page. Why would you do that? So this is rotating eight bytes, or where it came from anyway, it's rotating eight bytes, right? Is this some sort of like, no, it's sprite related bullshit. Sudden death, how you doing? I still don't know what the hell this is doing. Ands it with two. Ands and Eeyore's. I'm like, oh, what the sh What? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm getting a headache because this code doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh, my God. Um... Huh? <laughs> Wait, that loops on that flag. Wait a minute, what the hell? Flag 94. Is that even... Oh, no. 94. That one... No. That won't... We won't get there because... B, what What the hell was it? Was it B something? B8 is higher than 94. What the hell is this? Parents X and Y, and that was reasonably self-contained, but beyond that, nothing. Yeah, like, so to break out of the loop, 94 has to be something. It has to be set to something. So one of these has to happen. Where the hell are these coming from? Is it, is this a timer where uh, the, um, uh, the, the end is triggered by data off the tape? Could that be it? No. Hang on, let me, uh, let me label this real quick. Uh, C E four C. Where is this coming from? Where are we finding this? So we're coming from uh, handle E five. So handle E five. All right. So we got some some table crap that's going on. Look at some sprites, right? Before, rather, the sprite under inspection. That's going to be. Um, indexed by A, kind of. Um, yeah, indexed by A. Uh, increment flag 80, sure. We disable it. And then, 
for the next one, Decrement X, Branch Plus over here. Okay, back up to the loop. So we go through all that shit, right? Then at the end of that, we jump into this. At the end of our update loop, or whatever the hell, we jump into this. Load X, B8, load Y, 8. JSR over to here, which does some stuff, sure. Uh, load up flag 94, and break out of the loop when 94 is not zero. But 94 isn't touched down here. It's not touched down here. So how does 94 change? It's got to it's got to be in either an IRQ or an NMI. Yeah. It's got to be somewhere. So I was looking at uh this stuff up here. This these change 94. It makes 94 something. Right? So find occurrences. There's a few of them. A JSR. This one is coming from uh, something else. I don't know what the hell that is. Student, how you doing? Uh, how do you... Do you know how to get access to a protected Windows process using a kernel driver? I do not. Not only do I not run Windows, uh, I do not do any kernel uh, development for Windows. I apologize. I am uh, I'm digging into uh, NES assembly, or Famicom assembly. Um... So let's get back to this stuff up here. Um, set flag nine four nine 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 four two zero three. Label C E four seven. Set flag. Nine nine four two zero five. This guy, and the label. Label C E four two, set flag nine four two zero four. Am I drunk? I am not. <laughs> Just apologize for not using Windows. Maybe it assumes that 94 is already non-zero. It's possible. That was an apology for not using Windows. That's an apology for not being able to help with an explanation. Yeah. But the reason was because he didn't use Windows. There's a difference. <clears throat> um, I bet you this is all code, too, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look! We found more string bullshit! Oh, oh, oh God, come on. Don't do that to me. This one, and then... No, no, oh, shit. God damn it. Go back over here. That's where I wanted to be. We found more string crap. Fantastic. <laughs> Not the label. No, I want... Probably going to be code. Oh, look, even more string bullshit. Yes, NES Assembly. Um, tonight we're not doing development, we're doing reverse engineering. Welcome by, by the way. Um, Asia boring name. Okay, thank you for the follow, appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so this is all for uh, this thing. It's a uh, tape drive for the Famicom that I have off screen. Off camera. <laughs> he just was recommended. Nice. All right. He's a great guy. I've known him for a while. But welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't think I want to get into that. Is CE in here somewhere in the bytecode stuff? Yes. Oh, God. CE00? Not CE00. Oh, where did I... Oh, Jesus. The scroll is killing me. I lost where I was. I don't know where I am now. C... E... C7... C... A, B, C, D... E, there it is. C, E, there it is. I don't know where the hell that's coming from. This apparently is... Branch equal to. 
Oh, that right there. Literally right there. Okay. Uh, so I love these little systems. Ooh, I'm currently working on a Quake 3 mod. Whoa, fun, fun. Yeah, I've got a, a lot of... Um, I have been collecting, apparently, uh, Famicom-related hardware. So I've got technically now three Famicoms, uh, a NES, a variety of, of peripherals for both. Um, although for the for the NES, I don't have as many. <laughs> um, got the Zapper, which, okay, fine. I've got the four score for the NES. Um, I got a satellite that I got the other day for the net. That thing's disgusting. It's, it's dirty as hell. Um, parts of it are actually in sitting in vinegar right now. Uh, to hopefully give her some rust. Um, but for the Famicom, I've got three of these stupid things. I've got an RF Famicom. I've got an, I've got a AV modded Famicom, AV modded RF Famicom rather. I've got a titler, which is in the, is behind the screen. You can't see that. Uh, we were playing around with that. Um, Playing all that on uh, on um, Friday, which is an RGB Famicom with some other weird shit bolted on. Jamega, you have a good night. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, I've got a keyboard right here off off camera. I've got a um, drawing tablet for the Famicom. Um, normal mods, <laughs> normal normal nerds mod Counter Strike, Super Nerds mod Quake Three. Yeah. Uh, I've got a trackball somewhere for the Famicom. I've got what the hell else? I got the da that dance pad thing for the Famicom. The 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 family trainer it's called. Um, I've got the disc drive. I've got um, this stupid thing. This Famicom. No, uh, this uh, the, the um, study box rather. Um, I'll just looking at Famicom assembly. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate person make their own engine to do stuff. I thought you were going to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so for a I am Nelsia, okay. Go away. Go go sleeps. <laughs> Night gel makeup. Um But yeah, so for a, a real quick war on end of what I'm what I'm doing here. So this is an educational system. The Programs come on tape. Uh, half uh, or the right channel is data. The left channel is audio. Um, the data is not uh, raw 6502. It is some byte code nonsense that is interpreted on this guy. We are going through uh, the different byte codes in this engine and trying to figure out what they do. And it's jank as hell. <clears throat> I'm making my own engine. I'm just heavily modifying Quake 3. Like all AAA game devs. <laughs> oh. uh, ED00 uh, is, an, is an and my handler. I can call ED A6, which can smack 94. Hmm. ED00. Oh, I even, I even have that labeled as, a, as an NMI. Why so it backs up the zero zero, backs up this pointer, backs up that word. Write some sprites. Loads EC and compares that to six for reasons. Writes a scroll, does some stuff there, does some stuff there. <laughs> uh-huh. What? As code. Oh, Jesus. Bank swapping. Uh. Bank Oh, God. Bank swapping with the argument? No. Stop it. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. What the hell is this? <laughs> three, six. Wait. Three, four. Four, five, six. The C8? Really? <laughs> Jumps down here. Uh, oh, God, this hurts so much. This 
probably more more code. Yup, it was more code. Oh my god. Specifically, it can zero ninety four. What was I looking at? Was that? Um, I'm way too far down now. Um, was I looking at uh, zeroing it out? Let's see. Wait, no, I don't even know where it was anymore. I don't even know where the hell I was. It's just that my pointer here. <laughs> we had controller data. Is this the one that... Was the fourth byte setup? Oh, yeah, so the fourth byte. Yeah, that's the um that additional con uh, the external controller. That's what that is. I don't know what the hell F seven is though. That was a four byte table though. F seven. Hmm. We're not gonna do anything that then. Alright, we're just gonna leave it as F7. Um <laughs> Yeah, this is uh that fourth read or something, right? I don't even know. Well maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. F something something to do the controller did it. Yeah, some 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 kind of controller or something, some, something or other. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what, but something related to the controller. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reminds me of Family Basic, which doesn't save X and NMI, which, yes, can clobber it. I don't think it's a safe due to when it does so, though. I don't know. Anyway, I got lost. 8B03. 8B03. Is this the one I was looking at before? Yes. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Disable a sprite. Yes, disable sprite. Sprite index in R A. It's fine. It's close enough. B thirty five. Oh neat. This is code. Ugh. More disabled sprite crap. Oh, Jesus. And label handler F0. Possibly multiple sprites? I think uh, it does ones that match argument A. Okay, so not index, it's type or something? <clears throat> right, property type or something in our game. Yeah. Um. Table. Oh, one, 140, 40 value. Yeah. This one, uh, load Y. Load A at Y. That's the first one. String. Oh, God. Strings and sprites? No, fuck off. What? Branch equal. Oh, God. Branch. Uh, branch. Label. 8B70. The hell's that? Down there. Yeah, 
label 8B68. It's down there a little further. Label 8, 8B37. That's a loop, isn't it? That is a loop right there. Loop. And this one's next. Like that. Flag 80. Uh, 8B37. That's also a loop. Oh, God. That's not 3-7. That's 3-E. E, 3-E. E, Uh, so this one's going to be inner. 3E e is inner. Inner. Outer. <clears throat> Alright. So, we are cycling through this. Cycling through the string. Branch equal to 70. To done. Basically. Five one. No, this fucking loop again. That's gotta be. Yeah. Okay. So it's gotta be like waiting for something from NMI. Then it's gotta be. Like, hey, set these sprites. Okay, we set the sprites. It's gotta be what that is. Right. Something along those lines. Okay, so not equal. Load X, 3F. Okay. Load A, add X. Compare it to F, E. That's like an end something or other. Branch not equal to next. Well, then compare to that. Branch not equal to next. What? And it clears it. So, uh, uh, huh? Clear these types? Disable these sprites? Disable the range of sprites. Where the range is in string A. Or string 700, rather. Um. Well, what the heck is, is 4064? What, what is hex 40? Hex 40. Yes, okay. Yeah. Dennis! How you doing, Last Miles? Welcome, welcome. I think it was it has been a lot longer than 18 months, but, it, but I was banned for much of that. It has been a lot longer than 18 months, damn it. But I was banned for much of that. <laughs> well, welcome back. How have you been? Hopefully you've been swell. I am uh I am digging through uh some 6502 assembly uh to try and figure out what the hell it does. Uh it's some sort of bytecode interpreter. Um yeah, it's some sort of bytecode interpreter uh, that runs on 
on off of this stupid thing. Uh, this is a little, uh, little tape device for the Famicom. Um, so the the tapes have have program data on them, uh, but it's not like it's not 6502 assembled code. It's some weird ass byte code that's interpreted on this thing. Yeah. I've heard of it, sure, ha huh? <laughs> No, it's, uh, Famicom stuff. It's this, whoop. Let me unplug the power and thing. This guy, right here. Wanna put this back in now? There we go. Yeah, this thing is so jank. It does, it does weird shit with strings, it... Oh god, it's stack based. Oh. I could once upon a time uh, write a hex dump routine from memory in 6502. Wow. It's just the opcode bytes. That was a long ago. And on a Commodore 64, of course. Nice. I love the Commodore 64. Who didn't? Right? Right? I never had a Commodore. A Commodore 64. I did have an Amiga at one point, though, apparently. I was too young to understand really what the importance of that was, but. Oh well. Oh well. I think it's even better. It was nice. I remember it. I remember the game. I, I there was there were some games we had on that that I enjoyed. I enjoyed. Oh. That was a turning point piece of hardware. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how my how my parents got a, got their hands on one, but they did. Years and years ago. Um. All right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna leave that one at that. Disable sprites. That's what that is. That's what that's doing. All right, eight B seven eight, and that chunk. Okay, cool. Mark as code. <laughs> Mark as code. Oh, there we go. There we go. More sprite disable shit. Okay. <clears throat> Toy Telephone shows use the Amiga for video overlays and for MIDI work. Really? Speaking of video overlays, so I have I I. It's behind the screen right now, but I have a, I have acquired a Famicom device that does video overlays. Um, one of, one of, one of these things, one of these jank things. Um, it's a Famicom that can overlay stuff onto random ass uh, video. Sometimes it's very. 1064 unit, which had MIDI ports wired directly to the CPU via a funky bus. <laughs> what? All right. But yeah, so this thing um, puts like uh, uh, like uh, uh, text and like some some like predefined kind of animation things on top of video. Or if you just pop in a cartridge and flick the switch, it'll overlay whatever's on that cartridge onto a video, which I find hilarious. Um, <laughs> and it has a little touchpad too, right there. That's a little, that's a little touchpad. The uh, the touchpad that I have is um in horrid condition. Uh, let me bring, bring up a picture of it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. where is it? It's in terrible condition. Ever heard of the Atari? T I don't think so. First machine on the consumer market with 11 megabyte of memory. Wow, or one megabyte, a full megabyte. What's good? He's helping me do this. That's understandable. Atari 1064. Hmm. All right. So is it an expansion card for it, or is it? Uh, plugs into the 600 XL, I guess. All right. Expansion card. It was a computer. Oh. Maybe you recall, recall wrong. Was it this guy then? The 600 XL that it plugs into? Reset options. Select like start. Help. Help. Uh, 
Not quite not quite a megabyte. We need a few of them. <laughs> Wait, were these daisy chainable? Can you daisy chain these things? No, the main fan operators and heavy duty programmers I worked with lost their minds over a machine on the on the desk. On the desk! With one megabyte of memory. <laughs> Well, yeah, when you're when you're used to like mainframes that take up entire floors of buildings, having a few megabytes of memory, and then this little plastic box on the desk has an entire megabyte, something that would take up an entire cabinet normally. <gasps> the local mainframe uh, we had was only thirty three hundred and twenty k. Yeah. Okay. So. If an entire floor of a building had less than a megabyte, typically. <laughs> and then someone brings in a little plastic thing that's got more than your mainframe has? For less than a million dollars? Get out of here. What? <laughs> CP6. This doesn't have a picture on it? Really? CP-6. <laughs> One of these things. One of these buggers. What the heck is this? Industrial controller? No, 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 no. This thing. A display. What? That's all it had. This is like the only picture I can find of this stuff? Come on. Is that a video camera? Right there? Big things. 1987. That's uh, like tail end of mainframe stuff, isn't it? Oh. Tail end of the mainframe stuff. <clears throat> Jaguar. Jaguar. Oh, let's go. This has the MIDI on it, doesn't it? Isn't that, is that MIDI or no? Oh, I can't see. Oh, no. I think that one says monitor. Hmm. Turn off the audio. Angel. Filmed in 06. Oh, my God. In this video, we show a Fortran 4 compilation uh, and program load in the Honeywell 60-bit microcomputer. The machine, has, uh, the, sh the machine has been built in 1969, was built in 1969, and is still fully functional. Whoa. Located in Germany. Okay. The processor is equipped with 16 times 16K times 16-bit magnetic core memory. 32K. Um, cycle time is was that nanosecond? What is the U? Is that nano? Micro, microsecond, micro. I was close. <coughs> Most instructions complete in two cycles. Um, some take one uh, only one to execute. If you take several cycles, thirty three three hundred thousand instructions a second. Input output is done via teletype. <laughs> Paper tape reader and paper tape punch. Characters characters per second. CPS. All right. Additionally, there's a Honeybrew printer. A homebrew print. Honeybrew. Homebrew printer interface. Centronic style with an old matrix printer attached. No, the printer has been replaced uh, in the meantime. Now I use a Data Protus Products 2230 drum printer. So this is a deck printer. Okay. There is no disk. Uh, no, there is no operating system. Okay. Paper tape reader. Oh, good God. Yeah, this is some of the old school stuff. Yep. Oh. This has like like the same blue as um, some Centurion stuff, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Original tape. 
<laughs> it just makes a mess. All right. Okay. Tip Raider and Decade. Yeah. You have to load the bootloader on the front panel? Yeah. With the blinking lights. Oh, yeah, the source code as he rolls up some paper. Not the source tape, another reader. <laughs> Old school mounting. Yeah, bootloader stuff here, I guess. Some parameters, and then <laughs> the printer is on. Jesus. A long gone ASR33 had one. No, no, if you have one, there's, uh, there's subtitles. Der landet auf dem Dorfstreifenstandsack. Jetzt muss ich kurz überlegen. Nochmal kurz. Sam's good there a little bit. Yeah. What, is, what the hell is this? Oh my. That's the punch. Oh my god. The reader jam. No potato. <laughs> the Chad. I forgot about the Chad bit. <laughs> oh, is he? Okay, well, all right. Uh, I don't have any paper tape anymore, but I had, but I have a punch card stacks. And loads of Fortran 4 that I've written. Endless loads of Fortran. Which translated for, uh, translated to Fortran 77 on the IBM 7, uh, 37, System 370. Whoa. The bit bucket. Let's call, let's call the bit bucket. <laughs> the bit's falling there. <laughs> no Pretty sure this is supposed to be like on a spool or something somewhere else, right? No. Oh. That's Fortran, isn't it? Meantime, I've loaded the newly generated object tape into the computer using the linking and re relocating loader program. Oh boy. The loader prints out uh, a symbols list with an all unresolved dependencies flagged. Oh. Green bar! So, so funny story. Um, kinda. So, at work, um, uh, uh, we have reports that we print out in, on like a standard laser, laser, jet, laser jet printer and we bring out to the production, right? That's how they know how many pages are in uh, each job or whatever the hell, right? To print out and all that kind of shit, right? The name of that report is Green Bar. Or at least some of it. Some some people call it the Green Bar Report, right? Like, I think our New York location. Um, <laughs> thank you for the bits, by the way. Uh, Dennis, appreciate that. Um, yeah, some people still call it the Green Bar. Because it because of reasons, right? Uh, so... Um, Archie Boots, I don't think he's here tonight, but um, he uh, he works in production, right? And he was confused as hell when someone from the mailroom came to him and said, hey, they have the green bar for this job. And he's like, the hell do you mean green bar? You know, the green bar, the report. It's like, oh, okay, you, you mean this report? This one? He's like, yeah, that's it. He grabs it. And, that, and he didn't really think about it much, right? He just, all right, so I guess that's also called a green bar. Sure, why not? Why not? And didn't put any more thought into it, right? Fast forward a few weeks, um, me and him are digging through some cabinets at work, right? Because we're bored. I gotta sneeze. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's not gonna come out. Mm. Anyway, so we're digging through some cabinets. We find some old old books and all that kind of stuff. And we find some binders. Open it up, and I find code printouts on green bar paper. So I go... Hey, by the way, green bar paper. That's why it's. That's why the report has the name. He's like, no, no, don't do this to me. What? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's why the report had the name because it was on literal green uh, paper that had literal green bars across it. <laughs> green, green wide paper pronounced. Yes. Alternating green and white paper wide, 17 inches or 22 wide. Some weird non-metric thing. Yeah. Well. Green bar. Prince uh, used to tell a story from back uh, back when they were keeping bees in England. 
interesting parts of the highs are known as uh, plastic metal ends because they used to be metal ends, but now they're made of plastic. <laughs> Uh, yes, the green white, uh, the green white paper printout stuff. Yes, loads of that in boxes also. <laughs> oh, even more crazy is one of the Pascal code uh, on it. Oh, yes, Pascal. Goodness. So the the code that was all on this was all PLB, which is code we still use to this day. That is what I program in at my day job is PLB. It's a god awful language, but <laughs> yeah. It's not quite as old as COBOL. It's a little younger than COBOL, but not by much. <laughs> it um it does predate x86 by a bit. Not by too much, because that's what triggered the creation of x86. So, no. Anyway. I need a... Like, see if I can make myself a paper tape reader and, and, and writer and all that kind of stuff. Octal. Get out of here with Octal crap. Oh, my God. So the the, the older guys that, that I work with, or guy now, because he only retired, um, he, does, he doesn't do anything in Hex. Nothing is Hex. Everything's Octal. It drives me nuts. Nuts. In the sidebar? I'm in the sidebar? Um, practical machines out there, uh, are running stuff, uh, from way before 81. Oh yeah. And loads of it is heavy, heavy industry stuff. And yes, we're going to maintain that stuff all the way into the 32 bit rollover in 2038. Oh yeah. Octo is nice. However, hex is better. I, I am used to hex. Hex. I understand. Octo confuses the shit out of me. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. But. Uh, YouTube. Okay, your YouTube page. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, I'm I'm streaming over to YouTube as well, cause I can do that now. I'm allowed to do that now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. What was I saying? I don't know what else I am. But yeah. So. <laughs> the old guy, the ancient one. Um, he does everything in Octal because, of course. It's fun that you're just that you're getting suggested to yourself. <laughs> I'm getting suggested to myself. <laughs> have the gods of Amazon offered you a uh, partner also? Uh, no, they have not. No. I have not gotten that offer. <laughs> Why, did you get that? After being banned how many times? <laughs> uh, but no, I don't have the requirements to meet it. Uh, I need like, what, 75 average viewers? I don't have that. I don't have it anywhere near that. I'm nowhere near that. And I, I, I only stream on like weekends. Um, I hit well over someone has a thousand viewers, and yes, offer partner. Yeah. Ooh, wow. All right. Did you take it? <laughs> um. Which I refuse. Okay. All right. Fair. Fair. Um. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think I can. I can uh, put in the hours I would need to while working my day job. Um, yeah. There's so many restrictions, and what are the benefits? I get banned again faster. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Well, what are the benefits for it anyway? Because like last time I checked, years ago, they weren't even that great. The monies. You don't get a better cut. They they got rid of that like a year or two ago, didn't they? Welcome, by the way, uh, Hepta. Uh, they got rid of the better cut for basically everybody, except for like what the <laughs> the one percent of partners, the partners, I think. Simple with the with the partner stamp kit. Nothing better at all. No. except maybe some better treatment at TwitchCon, or at least some access to things at TwitchCon. But I, I haven't been to TwitchCon in how many years? <laughs> the be best Latino streamer of all time? I, okay. Uh, the grandfather in all the channels and people can make some dollars. But really, those guys are gone. Those days are gone? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing Twitch to like make bank to make money. I'm doing it to kind of to stay sane. If, I, if that makes any sense. I don't know. It gives me. It gives me drive to to work on this stuff. Honestly, not even close on stuff. A ton of people in Ireland and Scotland. <laughs> I probably I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there's not very many of them over there. I was just I I've never been to Scotland or Ireland, but given its geography and where it's located, I have a feeling that that group of people is not common there. At least not how. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, I am tired. I need to. I need. To, I need to go to bed. I think. Um, if you watch the main video, uh, he loads the map codes to the compiler and then runs the compiler on the code loaded into memory and it kicks out map codes and, and onto paper tape. Oh my God. And they brought it back uh, in a more standard form, as in available if you go well enough without having to negotiate for it as partner plus or something. Oh my God. And paper tape reloaded into memory and executed the code. Oh. Using the paper tape as, as working space. Okay. I mean, I get it. It makes sense. If you don't have a hard drive to write to, your paper tape is your hard drive. <laughs> I get it. It makes sense. Um, yeah. Then you feed the paper tape back in. That's what actually runs the thing. It makes sense. It does. <clears throat> Uh, there's no hard drive or storage other than the core memory and, yeah, and the paper tape. Swap space on paper, right? <laughs> Base that's basically what it is. Swap space on paper. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, I need to get going. I am I am tired. I need to find something to snack on before, before bed. Um, <laughs> swap to floppy. You can still set that up on FreeBSD. Do not do that. <laughs> oh, fiber stream now. <laughs> um. So, you saying do not do that makes me want to do that. I have how many? I, I've got like four or so floppy drives. I've got some floppies. New, new, Nvidia Quattro unit to test. Ooh. Really? More, uh, more fun things. More fun things to test. Um, yeah, I need, I need to go. I need to go to bed. I need to sleep. I need to be at. I need to be at work on time tomorrow because the new CTO is coming into work. Coming into my location. I've got a lot to say to him. Um, this week's gonna be a week. Oh, fuck! I did it again. I spilt. Well, they're not all of them though. This time. My toothpicks. I have a thing of toothpicks I've been playing around with. I spilled them all over the desk. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> I did this the other day, too. I almost took a picture of it. I almost, almost took a picture of it. God, son of a bitch. Almost. Show up late and hungover. <laughs> set, the set the expectations correctly. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm, I didn't drink enough yesterday to be hungover, thankfully. Um, I did drink some stuff. Though. I had like half a half a bottle of sake. I finished off. I polished off the bottle of sake. Is what I did. Um, I still have three, four more bottles in the fridge. I think. Yeah, something like that. I still have a few bottles in the fridge. Um, that I need to. I need to take care of soon. But take care of me drink, obviously. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, let me get these in here. Hang on. I need to do this before, before, before anything else. Come on, in any second. I need to do this. Um, but yeah, so hopefully next by 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 this coming weekend, uh, I'll have the the ROM dumper, so I can hopefully dump the um the titler the titler ROM, titler ROM. Um, I will hopefully have replaced that capacitor in the titler, so we can screw around with that a little bit more, uh, the hardware. Hopefully we can get 
um, some ROMs on there. That'd be cool. Um, if not, we um, we might uh, cont uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh oh Okay. Uh, I might see if I can revisit some of the Ace stuff uh, on hardware. I'm gonna see if I can find the um, uh, the code for that. I have it somewhere. I have I have the the payload somewhere. Um, the audio file. Um, we can retry. I can retry that. I have a better re better recording setup now, with it. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I can I can actually get stuff on tape now easily easier. Um, there we go. We're all all good. All good. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we'll go over to Dennis. Stream running, just watching, just watching it be janky. <laughs> I am going to bed. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it as always. Uh, did you see what hardware that cap was connected to? As in, might the cap be why the EverDrive had problems? It's possible, um, but that was on the only board that's got layers on it, so I can't <laughs> trace it very easily. Um, I don't know. I'm going to replace it anyway. I have replacements for it on hand. Um, and I don't need to order any. I have them on hand. Uh, so I'll do that this week sometime. Um, and, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Uh, please come with me to say hi over uh, to Dennis. Um, and, uh, yeah. You guys have a good night. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.